自然豊かな行楽サマーキャンプ避暑地には夏の魔物なる脅威が現れるフェイトグランドオーダーサーバントサマーキャンプカルデアスリラーナイトさあついてきなさい後輩 Hello there, everyone. Welcome back for some more. Let's play Fate Grand Order. I think we might be finishing the story this part. I'm not sure because, like, I don't know how much left we have. We still have tons of missions to go through. But hey, we unlocked the file. So, thoughts on outsider mages, huh? Interesting. Okay. What was that other one we can grab? 15 free quests at night. Easy peasy. Done. So, let's, uh, that was in the hotel. Thoughts on outsider mages? Sure. This might be interesting. What do they think about other mages? Are they going to be all high and mighty? Are they going to be like, no, only us? File 7, thoughts on outsider mages. I doubt I'll live much longer. I was a fool for allowing myself to be lured here by a fat paycheck and incredible benefits. Happens to the best of us, buddy. And I was a fool to think no Eastern Mage wannabe could ever get the better of me. Before I knew it, this mountain had me in its grasp. I can barely remember my own name now, let alone my incantations. They say our goal here is to achieve immortality. That's why they've been luring mages here, to use them as test subjects. They're not choosy about their methods either. They're trying magecraft, science, curses, whatever might get the job done. How could some Far East yokels have made so much progress in 2000... It's, again, it's so funny how every every European person in Fate is like, freaking Japan? Those losers? With no one ever finding out about them. Something doesn't add up. These people may use magecraft, but they aren't mages. They may use science, but they aren't human. They're insects. A writhing mass of insects focused exclusively on a singular goal of achieving immortality. That could be a metaphor, or it could literally be Zoken. I'll be dead soon. Now that I've spilled the secrets of my clan's magecraft, I doubt they have any further use for me. To think that our proud family would fall for the tricks of mere peasants, how humiliating. I only hope these scribblings will find their way to other mages as a warning before it's too late. Yeah, when you, when you say they're writhing insect, like, you could literally mean literally. We've seen that, right? Uh, okay. Sounds good. Let's move- oh, let's welcome the morning. Forgot we could do that. Dawn is breaking. It's a good thing I did some night quests then. Hey, we've- oh, good. I'm happy we completed that already. It's gonna be like, dang, I sure hope we don't get blockaded by something. We already got that. Cool. I just realized she's giving us our stuff now. Huh. 2200 years and 3000 ominous ones. Hmm. Don't love that. Okay. Let's go. Got some strawberry tea. 3,000 ominous what? Ones. What do you mean, ones? So, long story short, we've now got both former mid-bosses from this terrifying Mount Horai here in this living room. It's true, actually. Hm. All I did was help those in need of assistance. Ah, uh, such a beautiful- <laughs> Buddy, pal, we gotta have a talk. Such beautiful little girls are friends of my beloved Christine. Tell me, what would you like to drink? We have milk, ta coffee, tea, cocoa, orange juice. Really? Okay, I'll have cocoa. I'd like some hot milk with lots and lots of sugar, please. Gross. Understood. As you wish. Come to think of it, when did you get here, Phantom? I used rapid movement. My slasher abilities still work, though only in places with people nearby. Oh, so it's dead by daylight. Almost all these reports were written by people who used to live here at Mount Horai. There's nothing especially interesting about any of them, with one exception. Here, read this. You may rend it the translation. I'd especially like you to pay attention to the parts in quotation marks. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Move them to the usual location. 
head for that cellar. It's the most sacred place. I'll have the dolls protect it. Oh, so down in the dungeon, where, like the underground. Sounds like there's still something somewhere else around here. Indeed. Mm-hmm. Oh, I've got it. Already? Even though I might have. What, you mean you all don't? Not even you, Abigail? It would be one thing if this had something to do with Master. As it is now, I just don't care. All right. You do all remember that this singularity used to be a village, yes? Guess so. However... That the inhabitants of the village studied immortality doesn't mean they became immortal themselves. Really, why would they? Immortality is no more than a human dream. If they had actually succeeded, someone would have come sniffing around almost immediately, no matter how hard they tried to keep it a secret. Good point. Makes sense. In which case, there's something that would have to be here. Something none of you have seen. A graveyard? You got it. I knew you could figure it out. You're right. There should be a graveyard around here somewhere. A cellar. A sacred place. A place to move dead bodies. That sounds like it must be underground, no? We did see a small underworld beneath the supermarket. Could there also be an underground graveyard like that somewhere? Underground, huh? Be funny if this... If... Oh... <laughs> Ruby? Ruby, don't say it like that. Be funny if it was in this very cottage's basement or something, wouldn't it? Oh, come on. It can't... It, it can't be that utterly contrived. Yeah, there's no way it would be that... Uh-huh. Abigail? Something wrong, Abigail, senpai? Uh, of course not. Why do you ask? What do you know? What does she know? Oh my god. I'll be damned. There really was a cavern in the basement. I can't believe we were literally sitting on this place all this time. That's right. I should have realized it sooner. Buying a house only to learn it was built over a graveyard is one of the most common horror movie tropes of all. It's true, actually. Technically, it's just a cottage, not an actual house, so... I don't blame you for not figuring out sooner. Oh yes, this is definitely a graveyard. Indeed, I can smell the stench of death lingering all over this place. How did you all not notice it sooner? You are heroic spirits, aren't you? Are you all just half-baked pancakes? You all have batter for brains? Heh. <laughs> You've got us dead to rights! Well, you don't have to be so confrontational about it. But it's true, you really do have us dead to rights. It would be fair to say that an intense stench of death has lingered over the entirety of this singularity, and it has dulled my sense of smell. Even so, that is no excuse. We should have known there could be an old battlefield or graveyard here, yet we failed to consider the possibility. I'm so sorry, I must have been so caught up at this new spirit origin that I... Not at all, beloved. If anyone was distracted by a new spirit origins, it was me. I'm the one who was sorry. Or who is. What were y'all thinking? You know, you can't just ask Master to pick up every ball you drop. I swear, you all need to do a much better job keeping your feet on the ground. Excuse me, everyone, but I'm sensing hostels nearby. Ah, uh, Shy Guys, or Sniffets. This works out nicely, Master. Why not command me in this battle? That way you can see for yourself what a shrine maiden to an outer god can truly do. Besides, we've already formed a temporary contract. Go for it. Do your thing. Yes, I will. All right, come on then. I'll smash you to pieces before you can even wake up. Will we use her? Maybe. I could. Let's check, uh, to see, well, we, oh, never mind. We have to. Um, so let's go to just our strong team. Yeah, that works. Sounds good. Head on in. Beat him up. Curious about, we haven't seen... I think her second costume, I'm pretty sure. Because I think this is her, th no, or it might be, no, I think it's backwards. I think this is her second costume. We haven't seen her third one. The, 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 the one where the cat's a normal cat, essentially. And apparently people have been telling me, like, oh man, she is like 90% references to 
Why is your gather rate so high? She's like 90% um, references to HP Lovecraft stuff and all the stuff that I thought was not, like totally is. Uh, okay, you got me. I've not read HP Lovecraft's works. I should, I feel. I feel like I really should. Also, free terror? Nice. I didn't even notice that. Um, it's definitely something that is in my I should do like list, which I hope gets smaller, you know, as time goes on. But we'll see. Well, um... Pop that. Pop that. Pop that. Dang. Okay. Her skills aren't bad, honestly. Like, I know I said that she's not too great. But I don't even mind, like, what she's kind of putting down here. Wow. Bye. Yeah, no. When she was the lowest ranked, you know, five star, I thought she'd be kind of terrible, but... Then again, she does get a big attack boost here. That is something I must remember. She gets big attack up. Okay. I think my tea's cool enough that I won't burn my tongue anymore. Mmm. Lovely. Also, hi, time change. Got a blaze of wisdom. Very nice. Very useful. Okay. More Zambos, probably. More more crazy dudes. We can handle them. Get them. Yeah! Mm -hmm. So, what did you think? Did I blow you away? You're pretty cool out there. Why, thank you, Master. I was, wasn't I? That was much more impressive than anything you get from, say, a creepy oversized clam, don't you think? How very true. Aesthetic sense is something one either has or does not. Is there something you'd like to say to me? The Pope hat is a little much. The Pope hat, I, I will say. I'm not the biggest fan of the Pope hat. Uh, I will say, though, that there seems to be more of those mass killers remaining, though. It's all well and good to strive for both style and substance. But if one fails to eradicate all of one's enemies, perhaps substance ought to be her focus. Ah, those two are getting along just as poorly as I'd expect. Okay, my turn next. Let me show you what a magical girl can really do when she puts her mind to it. One little puff on my clamshell compact and magical girl Lily transform. Oh, we're in this one. Goodness me, I've encountered my share of the world's dregs before, but this is simply abominable. No strength to speak of, no strategy whatsoever. They just crawl on the ground like insects to be stepped upon. I swear, they remind me of nothing so much as swine in a feeding frenzy. No, on second thought, at least swine still have room to improve. But these things will never be anything more than lazy, masochistic pigs, even if they were to somehow be reborn. At least when I end their miserable lives, maybe they'll have some shred of hope of seeing paradise. We're all like, what? Is, is this what magical girls usually transform into? I want Ilya to be just like, nope. Well... <laughs> Maybe. I mean, they. I, I feel like before they would have, like early on in Prisma Ilya, I'd see stuff like that. But now we're at we're we're in Prisma Ilya Kino territory. So like, no, we won't. I've caught up on the manga. It's pure Kino time, so it's not not anything like that. All right, so let's go. Uh, first off, get these going. This is literally just, hey, check out the servants that you could roll for. Are you not entertained by them? Are you not excited to try them out? Alright, because I want to go one, two, three. Big damage. Like that. Good stuff. And, okay. Okay. Okay, so that's a full combo on you. Let's do that. Uh, 
And you're done. I think her last costume is actually my favorite, just in, because of the moves being so crazy. I've never loved this policewoman outfit. I don't know. It's not even, like, hot to me. It's just, like, whatever. You know? I don't know. There's some people who really like this one. I'm just like, I'm kind of neutral on it. It's one of those meme outfits that went out past the Fate fandom. Like Mash's Deadly Beast outfit. Or there's a couple, right? Um, Nightingale's Halloween CE. Like there's some that have expanded out and that's one of them as well. So, you know, even before I was a Fate fan, I've seen this one. At least I'm pretty sure. Also, hey, whip effects. Now that is how you destroy your enemies. You certainly have a cruel streak, Abigail, but your concern for your reputation means you have a long ways to go. That's true. I don't think I could ever do what you just did. But isn't that all kind of a lot? I mean, what tradition would that outfit even come from? Mm -hmm. It's called Punisher Mode. Oh, well, okay. I think I remember knowing a master who liked that sort of thing once. Is that? Is that a TCC thing? I see. I'll have to be careful not to end up like that. Hmm? That's strange. Why does your respect seem to be leavened with pity? Looks like everyone else is biting their tongue to not point out how alike those two are just as much as I am. Man, I knew Master had troubles, but this is something else. Uh, uh, say, Master, have you ever thought about getting exercised? If you have, just let me know. I'll introduce you to a great temple for that sort of thing once summer's over. Ah, uh, Ryudoji. Where'd that come from? I think you think, well, yeah, I like how he says that, but it's like, you do know that, like, the only Fuyuku we go to is the burning one, right? Can we even go to that one anymore in the story? I don't even think so. I think that's like, canonically, you can't even ray shift to those singularities that we pretty much, or yeah, singularities that we patched up. I didn't think we'd be going so far underground. <laughs> I'm starting to get chills. It feels like the underworld down here. This doesn't seem like a graveyard so much as... A mausoleum. Yeah. Hello? Spook time? What was that? That's not terrifying at all for some reason. MASH! Senpai, over here! Why do we have the 4x3 filter? Master, wait, that's not... Get back here, you idiot! Oh? Yumi Ren, are you okay? Jeez, that was close. Been a pretty long time since I saw a spear trap. I'm surprised you fell for that old trick so easily, Kohai. You gotta be more careful. Senpai, did you... I couldn't help it. The moment I heard Senpai, I just took off running. You better not have died on us. I didn't. I just sprained my ankle. Well, I'd probably be dead if Prince of Lan Ling hadn't stopped me at the last second. Not that it would have mattered much either way, since I would have recovered soon enough. Non nonchalance can only excuse so much. Please, for once, try to think about those of us who have to watch you die whenever you... I'm sorry. I have no right to say that. Don't worry about it, Prince of Landling. It's not your fault my other self here is such a klutz. Me? You'd have been just as quick to run towards MASH as I was if our Kohai hadn't been around. Don't be ridiculous. I'm cool, collected, and intelligent. I'd never do anything that reckless. She... She totally would have. She totally would have. Looks like that mash was an illusion. I figured as much. Master, understand how eager you are to find her, but we need to keep our wits about us. Luckily, we have an expert in illusions with us now. Just have her, have her check if something is real before you run into it yourself from now on. I'm sorry. I was too excited. Don't worry about it. You can't help how you feel. As far as mistakes go, there are worse ones you could have made. Could have pissed your pants right there. Besides, our point in coming here was to try and save her. You're at least on the right track in that sense. Thanks, everyone. I'm counting on all of you. It looks like this cavern does go on a little further, but we should reach the end soon. <laughs> Can't wait to see what we find when we get there. I'm especially looking forward to seeing what sort of person stabbed grown-up me in the back. What sort of person, huh? Something on your mind? Kind of. 
I just remembered a little injury from my past. You know, the trite sort of promise that no one really gets upset if you forget? I swear, humans are so foolish it's sad, sometimes it's even scary. I have no idea. My only thought is we still saw we saw a weird silhouette in the the video, right? We still don't know who that is. This is <sighs> Uh-oh. Murasaki, okay? I'm sorry. The stench of curses and death here is just so overwhelmingly powerful here. This is unbearable. My whole body is aching. Please, get behind Master Lady Helia. Right. I'll put up a mental protection barrier. I hope you don't mind that. It's of my own design. That's fine. I'm not going to worry about the aesthetics of a... of a stat-protecting thing. A typical heroic spirit would either lose their mind to the overwhelming smell of blood here or suffer a complete mental breakdown. I must say, whoever owns this place, I like what they've done with it. It's certainly a lovely collection. But decor so focused on this kind of death and finality is just not to my tastes. Sigurd Burnhild, are you two okay? Of course, just as I say. All you need is love. <gasps> right. Sigurd, even I find that a little embarrassing. Right, uh, good to hear. Okay, calling out, killer, slasher, whoever you are, my patience is wearing thin. Uh, mister? Did that lady ever even have patience to begin with? Mm, keep it to yourself, don't worry about it, don't worry. Okay. Hey, Kohai, I can hear you, you know. Oh, lovely, now we can listen to her in stereo. <laughs> Who are you? Who? I go back to him. I don't even know who that is. Are you the one behind all this? Are they, is that a plush you may Ren? Who are you? What? Is that mouth more than just a hole in your face? Who are you? You mean you don't remember? You really don't. Don't worry, I remember fine. I don't have any idea why you did all this. Who? That part I don't get at all. Yeah, who who is that? Hi. Her name's... Sh oh, her, okay. Her name's Shufu. Shufu, isn't that who Kinshi Wan ordered to devise an elixir of immortality? Oh. Oh, was this an unseen party in the Lost Belt? Ah, uh, so that's why this mountain is called Horai. That's the Japanese name of Mount Pengle, the mythical land of immortality of Chinese legend. Okay. Oh, good. So you do remember me. More or less. I've been waiting for 2,200 years. That is how much time I've spent on this pursuit. I've sacrificed not only my life and expertise, but also those uh, of those of the ones who looked up to me. I have been an exceptionally, exceptionally hard worker. Uh, hang on, back up. I still don't fully get what it is you're doing here. Why, I've been trying to kill you for your own sake. And when did I ask you to do that? You didn't. But the more I studied immortality and the more I came to understand what you are, I came to feel that it was my responsibility to give you the gift of death. These last few thousand years must have been torture for you, no? Well, yeah, sure. After I was summoned as a servant, I happened across the Holy Grail. And I use it to make this teeny tiny singularity. You see, before these villages disappeared 40 years ago, they managed to prove beyond any doubt that it was in fact actually possible to kill you, Lady Yu. Human experiments, ghost stories, urban legends, rumors, paintings, novels, and movies. I packed in as many unknown fears as I could and collected anything I could pertaining to known ones. After all, no other form of entertainment is so rooted in human instincts as horror. So here on Mount Penglai, which, again, we got earlier on, we that's not a big twist for us, we collected every method of murder known to mankind and sealed them away in this mask. So, you basically, you, uh, friggin' anger mangoed a mask? The human imagination makes any method of murder possible, even one that would work on your immortal form, Lady Yu. This mask will bring you death and oblivion six times. That's a lot. That's how many times you've already died in this city. Oh, I thought you mean it would. The, you put on the mask and it's enough to kill you six times over. 
That's how many times you've died already died in this singularity. And after you've died once more, in a way you would least expect, the mask will adopt the concept of killing immortality and bring an end to your life in all its possible forms. So that's what those numbers in the videos meant. This mask will ensure you never need fear your immortal life again. <laughs> you will praise me for this accomplishment, won't you? You make a good point. Since death has never had any meaning to me, the mask sounds downright heavenly. And there's always been an insurmountable gap between humans who fear death and me who fears life. But, that being said, even as part of me fears life, there's another part of me that hates death. So which, which part's kind of running things now? You need to ask? With Lord Xiang Yu around, it's the part that wants to live, of course. Besides, now that I've got two Kohai to care for, I have to do my best to guide them and stuff. Also, I can't say approve of how you made that mask. I never engaged in any inhumane experiments. And if anyone suspected something, I'd just erase their memories and return them to their homes. Keeping people alive actually made it easier to keep the village hidden. Please believe me. Oh, no, I do. If you say you didn't kill anyone, I'm sure you didn't kill anyone. But that mask is still dying all the time. Huh? That's the whole problem. According to those records you guys left behind, the mask was constantly inscribed with death. So it's killing people not because it's just some machine and that's what it wants, doing it because it hates them. Being forced to experience death over and over just to benefit someone else would mess with anyone's mind. But that was the only way I could... Look, what's done is done. Just give Mash back, get rid of the mask, we'll call it even. No. What was that? I said no, 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 no. I, we, uh, we've all spent 2,200 years on this. And we did it all so you could go to your death with a big smile on your face. This summer is all we've got. It's our last chance. So I'm going to kill you. Right here, right now. And that'll finally make you truly happy. Everyone get your weapons red crap. Wow, you couldn't even finish. Couldn't even get a... You couldn't even get a punctuation in there. It's no use. We gotta get out of here. This is much worse than anything I was expecting. Is you in? Okay. Go on, everyone. Sessuini and I will clear out an escape route for you. As consciousness fades, so does the clam's other wish come to life. All is illusion, a dream birthed by Shen. Paradise is in the palm of my hand. Once those who come from beyond the gate of deep slumber arrive, they are never to leave again. You're too late. Death can come for us in the blink of an eye. It doesn't care if those gathered here are living or already dead. My collected killings will sever all of Lady Yu's lifelines regardless. Oh no, generic ghost! Now come, Lady Yu. Come depart for your journey into death. That mask is still yet to be perfected, no? And I cannot hope to destroy me completely. True, but fortunately there's still one left. Once I've destroyed her, then the mask will be complete. Ain't me! What is it? I'm guessing things are gonna get kinda messy from here on, so good luck. Hey, don't pawn all the responsibility off on me, me. Did, did you just, did she, what, did she just die? I don't know. Now run for it. You're not going anywhere after them dolls. We're not going fast enough. We'll never make it out. Everyone allow me to bring up the rear. Thanks. Huh? What do you think you're doing, Prince of Landling? Get back here. Absolutely not. If she captures you now, we will have no chance of stopping her. So we must make sure you and Master stay alive. You little bastard. How dare you get in my way? You'll pay for this. She is the most intense, like, eye-covering hair I've ever seen. What a coincidence. I was thinking the same thing. You're going to pay for what you've done here. I won't let anyone hurt her. That's what I was going to say to you. Damn. She's going to turn into a big generic ghost because... Because, yeah. I'm the one who understands you may rend best. No landling come lately will could ever know her like I do. Oh, I give in. 
I thought I could hang in there a little longer, but no, I can't, not after hearing that. Death is too good for you, it'll make you suffer in ways far worse than dying. Alright, but first I'd like to make one last request, and to point out one last thing. Uh, my request, let Mash Curia Light go. You don't need to pretend anymore, right? Okay, I guess. She is a nice girl, so... As for what I'd like to point out, what you're doing is wrong, but I believe you're doing it for the right reasons. What? what why you? Rip, dude. Damn that Prince of Lan Ling. He always got under my skin. Alright, I need to let Mash go. It's too bad, I really thought we could be friends. <laughs> Still trying to get a grasp on her personality. I'm kind of tired, I need to take a break. But at least I'm almost there. Hang in there, everyone. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out her personality. Just one more time and I can bring Lady Yu eternal peace. Is she, like, meant to be Yandere, kind of? Is that what we're meant to be getting from it? Hmm. Wow, still no battles, huh? Surprising. Wait, what? They've added a... What? Sorry, someone just texted me a thing that was in the game news. They're adding in a Leyline Stone, a new limited-time item to revive your party when you lose a battle in a main quest. Part 1 Prologue through Part 2 Chapter 5 Olympus. Leylines are now a login bonus. There's a time limit on a ley line. If you don't use it, it'll dis So with Oh, they're putting in a free retry item for... Huh. Interesting. That's being... I, I'm going to check that out in a sec, because that's really intriguing. I don't know how we pulled it off, but we made it. Senpai! Are you here here? Mash! Are you real? Thank goodness, it's so good to see you again. Foo foo! Yes, of course, I'm glad to see you too, Foo. Hang on, when did you get back? I'm not entirely sure of that myself. All I know is that when I came to, I found myself lying in bed here. Prince and Ling must have cut a deal with Chu Fu. Besides, she probably just kidnapped Mash to lure me in. Chu Fu? Is that who kidnapped me? Yep, she's the one behind this singularity. I gotta Google who that is after. Taking on the appearance of other people is probably a simple thing for her. Uh, Sounds like she cooked up this plan of hers all because she understands you so well. Oh, stuff it. That being said, that was a powerful feeling indeed. I haven't been so afraid of death in ages. Nor I. I'm sure all living things have such a fear, but even so, I'm sorry you all went through that. I was always proud of being a warrior who never feared death, but that terror was enough to even strike fear into my heart. Fear of death can only be combated with madness and rapture. Typical medicine doesn't stand a chance. I'm home. Glad to see you're all okay. Oh, I'm sorry I forgot about you, Yume Ren. Um, my condolences. It's fine. I'm still here and I'm sure Prince Alanling is still alive too. Probably. Is that how that works? Anyway, that lady was even stronger than I expected. No surprise, she's even able to kill servants. So, what are you going to do now? Just give up and go home? That's not... 100% an option. Now that we're all together, we've had a chance to catch our breath. Let's go over everything we know. Just give me a moment to put on a pot of tea. That's what I have. I'm going to take a sip of mine. Mm -mm. Here you go, Master Mesh. Thank you, Emiya. Yeah, that's the good sippies. That hits the spot. It do. I'm glad to hear that. All right, shall we begin? We now know that Shufu is after Yume Ren. Right, specifically she wants to give her the gift of death. That's why she made the Singularity, where she's been conducting experiments, and why she's spreading fear and death all over. Servants are transient beings by nature. Even if our ether bodies are destroyed, as long as our spirit core is intact and our contracted master healthy, we can make a full recovery by returning to Caldia. But in this Singularity, a fatal injury is truly fatal. Once wounded, not even a servant can escape death here. That's true. And we don't know how much damage Shufu's immortal slang mask can do to Yume Ren's spirit origin. Considering she's been working on it for 2,000 years, it's safe to say you should be extra careful around it. Ah, uh, besides, I'd be really sad if you died. I definitely don't want to separate her from Shang Yu now that they found each other again. That's the big thing, right? Right. Yume Ren and Shang Yu deserve to be together. 
Exactly, that's the most important part. Glad to see my Kohai really get that. She's counting me as her Kohai along with Senpai now. That aside, I'm surprised that mastermind turned out to be Shu Fu. Did you know her when you were alive or something? Well, yeah, I guess, but it wasn't a big deal. Yeah, please explain. Who this? That's right. It wasn't a big deal at all. It was the kind of encounter people have all the time. The search for something that never existed led to her leaving her led to her having to leave her hometown. And when she met me through a combination of luck, coincidence, and sheer tenacity, she put me on a pedestal I could never live up to. That's it? Really? Okay. Sure. Yeah, let me, let's read that news article then. Feed some springins. Oh, please don't tell me that's a mandatory one. Swear to gourd. Main story completion campaign. Here it is, yeah. Leyline stones. So you get them. Uh, all masters are eligible. Clear section 3-1. Get three of them. Usable in main part one. Pseudo singularities in main quest two. That's it? Dang. Not happening with me. Um, clear missions. Proceed to... Oh. I can't even get those. If you've cleared them all, we'll be counted as completed. Sick, never mind. Oh, Oku's coming. There we go. Nice. Um, who have fulfilled me. Okay, perfect. We've done that. Nice. Wow, that just came out of nowhere, huh? Okay. Interesting. Okay, so... Frick! Ock? Ock? After 719. Yeah, we're past that. Just says Ock. Edit, edit in a naughty word there. Where the frick do we battle Spriggins? Like, where, where are Spriggins, yo? I don't even remember fighting a Spriggin. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, maybe European building there? Um, I'm gonna look at the guide. And then again, I'll do it off camera there. I probably won't even record tonight because it's getting late, but I can record some more in the morning. Um, let's go walk through. Let's go quick farming guide. That'll, that'll be better. Quick farming guide. We need... Do they list the enemies? They super don't. Nope. Enemy locator. That's what we need. Um, Spriggan. Where's Spriggan? Spriggan. They are in the hotel day. Sounds good. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to do the hotel missions and then, uh, yeah, I will come back and we will continue on. All right, here we are. I've done the stuff. We're good to awk the mission. Could easily put a letter C in there, ruin it for everyone, but I won't because I'll get demonetized. All right, this looks long. What awaits beyond terror and death? Let's do this. I do have to get... I have to get this mission done because pretty soon I'm going to be moving away and that's going to take up my time. So I need to get this done before I go. Everything else I can put on hold, but this, this goes away. My ship will be leaving soon. Truth be told, I don't want to leave my hometown. But I've been ordered to head east to a land of barbarians whose language I don't speak. Also, I can search for the secret to an elixir of immortality. Huh. What a joke. There's no way such an elixir, elixir actually exists. Even if it did, it wouldn't be in the east. But regardless, I still had to head east no matter what. So you're going? Yes, I am. I have no hope we'll ever see each other again. Well, that's too bad. I'm sure I'll see you again someday. My fortune said as much. If you say so, goodbye. I was disappointed she wasn't looking forward to seeing me again, but... Even if she doesn't have any hope herself... She never told me not to have any of my own. So I'm sure our paths will cross again one day, I just know it. Is it this is Shufu, I'm guessing? And so I set foot on this land, 3,000 apprentices in tow. I have no intention of meeting with this nation's king. All I'm here to do is to continue my research. Of course, I knew my life would be in danger, so I erected a bounded field on this mountain. 
This way, no one could make their way inside, and anyone who left would forget everything they knew. As time passed, my apprentices had children, raised them, and ordered them to help with my research as well. Humans may never be able to achieve immortality, but we can still remain undying while we do our damnedest to make our fondest wishes come true. All you need are a sandbox, complete control, traditions, science, pride, and prejudices. So I proceeded with my research incorporating new scientific techniques along the way. Death and birth, death and birth, over and over, again and again. And then one day, everything finally came together. I didn't do anything special. There were just as many people who worshipped me as there were who feared me. Shufu is said to have come to Japan along with 3,000 apprentices. After telling Kin Shi Huan there was an elixir of immortality to be found here. Okay, so that's what it is. We are in Japan, but this was a... a okay, interesting. So again, I'm going to Google now. Was Shufu... Okay, here we go. Shufu was a Chinese alchemist and explorer. He, so it was a male, that's why, uh, was an, uh, born in 25, 2055 BC in Qi, an ancient Chinese state. He served as the court sorcerer in the Qing Dynasty China. Interesting. He, later, he was sent by Qin Shi Huang to eastern seas to look for the elixir of life. His two journeys occurred between 209, uh, 219 BC and 210 BC. Interesting. So, legacy in Japan. According to tradition of Saga City, Saga Prefecture, when Chufu came to the Ariaki Sea, he decided to float a cup on the water to go ashore when it made, where it made landfall. As such, the place where he said uh, to have landed is known as Bubai, which literally means floating cup. Interesting. Chufu is said to have said to have reached the top of Mount Kinryu, Gold Dragon, uh, where he met a hermit and obtained the Elixir of Life. Uh, the elixir is said to have been made from a plant called Furofuki, which still grows on Mount Kinyu, Kinryu today. The name uh, Furofuki is said to have come from the word Furofushi, which means not grow old, not die in Japanese. Uh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So this is like a perfect mix of like China and Japan, which, yeah, that's why we've been so confused about this. I'd heard there were legends about the village where she settled down in both China and Japan, but I never imagined they were real. Lady Yumei Ren, I will not ask you to tell us if doing so is upsetting, but does Shufu's research into the slaying of an immortal have anything to do with you being immortal? Well, it did at first. I remember I was still deciding whether to kill her or leave her be when she bowled me over with hero worship, so I ended up explaining to her exactly why your mortality sucks so much. From then on, she kind of grew on me. Grew on you, huh? Yeah, she grew on me. I didn't come here to Japan with her myself, but I did see her off when her ship set sail. I see. You must have been good friends if you wanted to say a proper goodbye. Yeah, I guess so. I had no idea what she was going to get up to, apparently. I'm guessing she was always the kind of hard worker who would latch onto an idea and never let it go. At any rate, I now understand the power of her immortal slaying mask. It can't be an ordinary mystic code, not when it's capable of instantly killing servants. I'm especially glad I squirreled away some mermaid meat for a rainy day. Uh, can you hear me, my ally? I'm talking to you from the underworld now via something akin to telepathy. It only works one way, so there's no need to respond. To be honest, even with all the medjet helping me out, I'm just about at my wit's end. I'm begging you, please do whatever you have to do to fix this mess as quickly as you can. Sounds like things are pretty bad on that end, too. But before we can do anything else, we need to figure out what to do about that mask. And then again, once we do manage to get past it, the rest should be simple, no? Probably. Shifu's own spirit origin isn't all that tough. It's basically a conglomerate. Congl well, that word sucks. Conglomerate of pure malice more than anything. So we shouldn't need more than one servant to deal with her. Again, the real problem is what to do about that mask. The moment she brings that out, we're as good as dead. And I don't mean running away to fight another day. I mean real, actual death. Given what we saw with Nido Chris in the Underworld, I'm guessing that mask is able to inflict damage on spirit origins that can even make it near impossible to resummon those servants. Basically, everything depends on how we can prevent Shufu from killing us. 
I don't think even the defensive mystic codes we have on hand will be enough. I might be able to come up with a way to protect myself against a 2,000-year-old cursed item, but I can't protect us all. I'm willing to protect Master, but that's it. Is there anything we can get you to change your mind? No, there isn't. Reality is harsh. That's all there is to it. Besides, it's like Shufu said. Our noble phantasms are a poor match for her mask. Then I suppose it's up to me. You, Seeker, but your noble phantasm can't... Bernilda's right. Just because your noble phantasm is anti-fortress doesn't mean it can resist death. No, but I do know runes that can prevent death. Even those aren't going to be enough. I know. Which is why I will use my beloved's love to gain even greater power. Oh my god. Um, honey, I love you more than anything, but I'm not sure that's how it works. Oh, good grief. Come on, Marisaki, back me up here. Tell them how a couple going up against a horror movie threat is basically asking to be killed. Yes, that is true. Being part of a couple is a surefire way to end up dead in a horror movie, especially a slasher movie. Uh-huh, uh-huh. However, a couple that has managed to survive to the end could also be the exception that proves the rule. Hmm? Hmm? Which is it here, the exception or the rule? Uh-huh. Thinking about it some more, the power of love wing against fear is a very common trope. So I think this may just work. You really think so? Love, huh? Mm-hmm. I doubt it would be that easy. After all, innocent love falling apart in the face of fear is a very common trope, too. I admit this would be an all-or-nothing gamble, but... Yeah, yeah, I've heard enough. Give it a rest, lovebirds. All-or-nothing or not, that's way too risky a plan to bet our lives on. Yes, I have to agree. It is far too soon to bet everything on emotion. I would say that is tantamount to throwing one's life away. War is a contest of survival, where one must employ any and all tactics at one's disposal. Any plan that relies entirely on emotion should only ever be a last resort. Suffice to say, we should first try all our other options. If we fail to do so, we will surely lose this battle. There you have it, Sigurd. What do you say to that? Beloved, as much as it pains me to say this, I can't argue with her point. Oh, Sigurd. Under normal circumstances, you'd be making the very same argument as her. That being said, I do think our best chance lies in Lord Sigurd breaking through the enemy's defenses and Lady Burnhild backing him up. In the meantime, the rest of us can provide support and... And? I'll take the front line. Really? Are you sure? Sure's got nothing to do with it. I'm the reason she's doing all this, right? So it's only fair that I be the one to settle it. Sorry, Sigurd, but I have to insist that you back me up. Got it? Understood. I trust that serving as a decoy will suffice? Yeah, it should work. While you're drawing her attention, I'll get in close to Shifu and smash that mask to pieces. Oh my god. It just hit me again that all those jokes about Dream and the mask, like, it, they just came rushing back, right? Like, I kind of forgot about them after I made that video. And yet I'm remembering them now. It's still funny. Hang on, like I said, it's not... Uh, there's one thing that gives me an advantage. I know exactly what kind of death she's going to try to give me next. It's... It... It's what? Now I see. That does make a lot of sense. As far as her collection of methods of murder go, it's probably ideal. See? This will totally work. What do you think, Kohai? That does sound... Viable. Oh, I hate it when they do it. I mean, it's a great storytelling technique to skip and then you learn later. But it also drives me insane. And it's settled. But aren't you scared, Senpai? Scared, huh? That's a good question coming from you, Kohai. When you're immortal, fear's a completely different beast after all. The thing that scares me more than anything is no longer being myself. Death already has no meaning for me, so if life no longer had any value either, my very existence would become something I barely recognize, and that's not gonna fly with me. So if I don't face this challenge now, I'll never be able to face Lord Xiangyu again either. You know, if you think about it, this whole thing is really Miss Yu Yu's fault, isn't it? Ah, oh, come on, you don't have to say that. I feel bad enough already. Alright, I'll make a gate. Everything beyond that will be outside my jurisdiction. Oh, cool. I forgot you can just warp us. Thanks, Abby. Be back later. Hey, I have to ask. Are you sure you have to go? I mean, this is all her problem to solve, right? Uh, she's my senpai, basically. Obliged. She, uh, I'm her kohai. But, oh, well... The same things. Hmm. 
I really can't stand how you're just so direct about these kinds of things. Eh, can't help it. It's who I am. Oh, you don't have to apologize. It just means I'll have to stick close to you, like any good servant would for her master. What, do you have something to say to me? No, I don't. I was just thinking how nice it is to see you acting so self-indulgently girlish, that's all. Well, sure, the real you's a grown-up woman who left that kind of childish stuff behind some time ago. Mm -hmm. If that's what you think, Amya, then you still have so much to learn, too. Anyway, I'll go ahead and use my power of Shen to make an illusion. I can't promise this will be enough to completely fool her, but it should be enough to make her lose herself in a dream for a while. Alright then, we're all set. Go for it, you may Ren. Okay, I'll give him my best shot. I trust you're all prepared to step through the gate? I'm good any time! No problems here. All good. Just remember, you're going to emerge in a different place than last time. Now you're getting me worried. Okay, jump in. I'll go first. Yeah. My turn. Come on, Mash! Okay, I'll be right by your side. Foo! Whoa. A variety of monsters. Every enemy we've faced so far has gathered in one place. So it would seem. I see zombies, ghosts, slashers, monsters. It almost feels like a final exam of sorts. This is nothing. We can handle a sermon of foes like this with our eyes closed. I'll do my the best I can. Looks like this is all set to end with a bang. All right, Master and Mash, let's get started. All right, let's go. Bop some baddies. Um, our best one for Rider is some assassins. So I don't think there's any. Get thirty percent attack up. Eh. Eh. I could also just go try and wipe them out wave by wave with... Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Yeah, we'll just stick with this because this team is pretty good for just doing good damage and, and rocking on through. So yeah, we'll stick with that. Enjoying my morning coffee. Last one was like last night, so... Uh, now it's the morning. Times change, and it's strange. Different moods for different times to play. Wow, big buffs. Okay, so start getting those going. There's only six of them anyways, so let's just go one, two, three. Nice. Nice. Bruh. Sounds good to me. Killer. Ghost killer. Alright. And... How many stars did we get? Jeez. Um, let's go one, uh, one, two, three. We won't kill them all again, but we'll do a lot here. Well... I was gonna say maybe we will, but we... Most certainly didn't. Alright, let's get this last dude. Let's go. We want to get the support Kiara here because she has the most, right? Like that. You know what? Okay, so you can only get one, but that's fine. Get more stars. This is wild what you can do. The stuff you can seemingly do with two of them is pretty insane. I mean, again, I know it's because we're on the event where they have super boosted attack. But it is really much like these two together are in like insane for synergizing with each other. Especially because you can do the double debuff and then do a bunch of noble phantasms. That would rip and tear... That's pretty cool. What did I get? Oh, cool. Take that. Submitting to battle. Sabres, archers, riders, and... Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. 
Just a few more waves, I'm guessing. That's fine by me. I mean, we can do the same thing again. Is she there again? No, she's not. Uh, that's a t I want. I want the big attack up. Let's see. Come on, yeah, three hundred percent attack. You love it. Oh yeah, so it's just gonna be a couple. Of, I was like, there's no way it's gonna be that many story nodes, right? This is a, hey, you gotta do some battles as well. Which makes it feel like we're ramping up to the end. I'm, I, now that I know what this event is, like, it was confusing at first, but, like, it kind of all clicked in place really nicely. Like, it, it reminds me of, like, 13 Sentinels in just the way that it's, like, I'm coming out of this feeling like, yep, it all makes sense now. No real questions anymore. No confusion, just, yep, it's all... The only thing that we don't know is what, who's the second um, you may rent at this point. And it's probably just going to end up being like, oh, that was a doll version of her for testing or something. Like, I feel like that's all it's going to be. Because there, there, there was the stuff about, like, oh, yeah, we have the dolls, right? So I think that, like, that's all it's going to be, and sure... You know what, let me, let me... So that does do it to them all. That's insane, the fact that it hits them all. Wow, okay. You know what, let's go one, two, to get you some meter, and then three. Okay, and then we'll get these two. Yeah, the fact that it's all those debuffs on everyone. That's some ludicrous damage. Again, because of the, the seas and stuff, but... Okay, a cold zombie. I'm gonna pop that on you. Pop that. Just for the stars, mostly. One, two, three. All right. Goodbye. If there's any missions remaining for killing certain enemies, this is where I'm like chipping away at them. Casters, sabers, yeah, like that. Look at that. Perfect. I mean, I guess are we going to get a rule of thirds to get the last one? We're going to get one more battle? No? Story. There are quite a lot of enemies here, even for our final battle. Master, Lady Mash, Lord Sigurd, Lady Yume Ren, please go on without us. We will hold back the enemy forces. Good idea. If we're going to be decoys, we might as well grab all the attention we can. Good luck. Thanks, guys. I'm counting on you. All right, Kohai. Let's get going, both of you. Understood. Oh, I guess we still have the fake master, too, but it's going to be the same thing, right? Where it's a doll? Right? Maybe? I don't know. We'll have to see. Or maybe it was just an illusion, because they said about illusions, right? Formation restricted, huh? Okay. Lady you. Hey, Shufu. Long time no see. Don't be ridiculous. We saw each other just a short while ago, remember? Yeah, but I don't feel like that counted. Between everything that happened, I never got a chance to greet you properly after all. So let me fix that. I'm back to kick your scrawny ass. <laughs> I can't believe you came all this way just to die. But I do appreciate it. Yeah? We'll see how appreciative you are when this is over. Only one of us is going to survive, and spoiler alert, it won't be you. Of course it will be. We'll see about that. Very well. Now that everyone has said what they needed to say, let's begin the battle, shall we? Here we go! You said it. Come on, Kohai. Right behind you, Senpai. What What did that add to the conversation, Sigurd? You literally said nothing. Kohai? Did she just say Kohai? She never, ever called me that. You dare. I know this might seem sudden, but I'm gonna kill you now. Yeah, I'd call that pretty sudden. And just so we're clear, it's not because I'm jealous. Nope, understand it. No, die! Flustered much? 
Sorry to interrupt again. I know I'm not the best in social situations, but I really think it's time we got started fighting. No, stay away from me. Go on, Immortal Slayers. Get them. Here's the mask. I will endure this one way or another. Let's go. I love how he's like, I'm not good with the whole talky thing, but stabbing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, set party. Okay, please select one. Oh, two of your own servants. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Um, can I switch you? Because if so, I could also just then go like this. and Yeah, okay. That'll work. This'll... This'll work really well. Let's go. Because then we can... Basically, if there's only... If there's only a couple strong enemies... How many? Yeah. We can... We can very easily... Do this right here. Blade of No Return debuff... Okay, delayed effect buff. Okay. So let's start with this. Get that going with you. It's three turns of attack, right? Yep. Okay. And then we got some... Increase the gauge and gain. Okay. And this is your... Threat Against Humanity Invincible. You know, we'll pop this on just to give that to you. And we're going to go... One, two, three to get as much as you can. You'll probably get full meter from that, honestly. Yep. Okay. Massacre Scream. So now... Oh, you guys are giving yourself debuffs? Sounds good to me. Look at that. Okay. And now let's go... One, two... Wait, well, let's... Is there anything else you can use to buff here? Not particularly. So, okay, that's fine. We'll go one, two, three for a full combo. Let's see how much we get. Ooh, didn't seem to be a ton. Never mind. I... The, there were too many numbers. I, my brain was like, that looked like it was only a couple digits. Turns out it was a lot more, and my brain just didn't see. You guys know I ain't good with numbers. I actively avoid numbers in my daily life if I can. A saber? Who's the saber? Oh, wait, are we gonna have to fight Sigurd? Ah, the the power of love got me through that first assault, but I won't survive another. It's all up to you now, Lady Yume Ren. Got it. I should be able to make it. Get, get out of here, Prince of Landling. Oh, huh? Oh, no. <gasps> Prince of Landling, you... I'm afraid I have thrown my lot in with Lady Shu Fu. I have given myself over to darkness. You may call me... Um, what was it they could call me again, Lady Shu Fu? Darkland! Because now you're a brutal man who will emerge from darkness to strike at Lady Yu, whatever she may hide. There you have it. Now prepare to die. Ah, give me a hand here, Kohai. You don't want to go up against Prince of Landling alone if you can help it. Come then, have at you. Okay. You know, I should have seen it coming, the theme of masks and him being here. Right? I feel like that... We'll grab yours. I feel like that should have... You can't select them as a party? That's fine. That We should have seen that coming, though. Yeah, okay, just go with kill uh, Saber. Can't put you in, so let's put in uh, Hime. And yeah, we'll just go with you guys. Sure. Hime just in the back, just in case. Just in case. All right. I don't, I don't. Oh, you, oh, she, oh, she needs to be, okay, I see, read that wrong, so in that case, uh, temp right there, we'll put her in, 
and then we're going to go switch to the combat suit to get her out of there. All right. Let's go. Dark land. Kind of a kind of a lame name. Don't stay in one place. Move as you will. Crit down. Okay. Um. Well, you can give meter then for now. And then we can go. That was me missing. That's fine. Mouse clicks. You know. It's fine. It's all according to Kaikaku. All according to Kaikaku. Actually, you know what, Frick? Look at that. Look at that amount of stuff we can give you. It gives you C stars each turn. Yeah, we're gonna just do a bunch with you. Pop that. And we're gonna go one, two, three. Just to get started here for big damage. Bruh. Bruh. Well, never mind. Rip to you, buddy. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. I didn't even see that he's level 120. Of course he is. Wow. Okay. That's uh, a little silly. The game's like, are you going to have a tough time? Oh, well, we still got more, I guess. How utterly selfish can one person be? Ah. You're always flitting around wherever you please, never staying put for more than a moment. You hate dealing with people, but the moment you come to trust someone, you cling so tightly it's absurd. So you continuously wish for good people to be rewarded, even as you remain strictly outside the human world. Do you have any idea how many people have ruined their lives by hopelessly pining for you? Wait, what was that last part again? Where'd that come from? That's strange. He was supposed to berate Lady Yu by laying out all his day-to-day -day frustrations with her. <laughs> that was never gonna happen, Shufu. The Prince of Lanling is as devoted to Lady Yu Mei Ren as a knight is to the princess he has sworn to. I completely forgot. Wow, okay. Holy crap, I completely forgot that he is, like, her servant. Like, the, 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 the cryptor side of it, right? I completely forgot about that. Because I was associated here with Shang Yu now. Any frustrations me he may have with her would be only would only be expressed by as loving adam abdominations. I hate that word. It's one of those words that I read and I'm like, I don't know how to say that. I don't say that word in daily life. Hang on, just give me a moment. No, I will not. This is a golden opportunity to tell you how I really feel, and I'm gonna take full advantage of it. Come on, give me a break. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if someone you knew were alive? To, well. Wouldn't you be embarrassed if someone you knew when you were alive told you how attractive you are? I would. But I'm Darkland right now, so I don't care. <laughs> why, you That's exactly why I hate you! Be that as it may, this is the only way I can express my day-to-day -day frustrations. Now you listen to me, Lady Yume Ren. I need you to go to GameStop and ask for a copy of Bambi for the PS2. At times, that beautiful form of yours can be toxic. While Lord Shang Yu may be able and willing to support you with his iron intellect, the same cannot be said of other servants. But that... Doesn't matter? Yes, I know. But you're the only one who thinks so. As far as other servants are concerned, some aspects of you are so overwhelmingly attractive that they may be willing to become beasts for your... Is this because she's, like, nearly naked all the time? Please, no more. I don't know how to respond to hearing that sort of thing from you. Beasts? Beasts? Have you been harboring such filthy, animalistic desires for Lady Yu this time, you closet pervert? Not really, no. I've always thought of love, desire, affection, and yearning as fundamentally different things, so... Oh, I see. Well, I can understand that. Sometimes she can be so beautiful, she seems more like a marble statue than a person, after all. I know what you mean. See some art sometimes makes me go wah wah wah. Me too. Most of the time, she just goes around doing whatever she wants, but every now and then, she gets this fleeting air about her that takes your breath away. 
Now don't you start too, Mash. Now then I think I'll compliment you some more. <laughs> I must say, it does feel good to cut loose and say exactly what's on my mind for a change. I can't take it anymore. If we don't stop now, Prince of Landling and I are both going to die of embarrassment. So we'll just have to beat his ass unconscious. This is, this is not how I expected this to go. At all. In any way. I'm surprised she doesn't have an attack bonus for this. That's like Mundo surprising. Uh, 230 attack sounds good. Cannot be selected as sub members. Wait. Oh, sub members. Right, right, right. Okay. Uh, we'll just do the same thing. We won't do it in one shot, but. Ooh, gotta sit up. I sometimes, like, slump in my chair, and I continually, like, slide down. It's not good. Don't do that. It'll ruin my back and spine and everything. Okay, never mind. We're keeping you out, huh? Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, first off, let's do this, then. Some attack up. I mean, we don't have... I mean, we'll just do a full combo with you, I guess. You know what? Just, just, just because we can, let's do the same thing I did. Let's stun you and then just do huge damage and then, then do another one after this. Oh yeah. Once again, goodbye. Oh wow, really? Well, you deserve the final hits, I guess. Wow. Wow, that damage. Those buffs weren't kidding. Wow. Alright, you could have absolutely soloed him. Alright, what do we got now? Assassin? Arena be fighting the other Yume Ren in her normal form? It's not enough. I still have so many more compliments left to pay. I'll pay them, okay, me, so just shut up already. All right, if you insist. There's, there he goes. And just when you think you know a human. But anyway, at least we've won now. Give it up, Shufu. This isn't over yet. I still have an ace up my sleeve. Oh, yeah? Let's see this death you're going to give me already. But if you think it's going to be your last massacre that ends with me dead, you've got another thing coming. Oh no, that's where you're wrong. This will most certainly be the end, Lady Yu. I still have one death left to give you. A death you could have never seen coming even in your wildest dreams. You will die by battling yourself. Yep, there it is. No way, it's me. It's exactly why I split you in two. Oh, it is a split. Okay. Once you have killed yourself, my collection will finally be complete. Yeah, well, I always knew it was going to come to the... Yeah, it was pretty obvious in the end. Of course you did. Wait, what? That other me was pretty much bound to end up as my evil doppelganger, right? So all I've got to do is match her timing. Come on, me, let's do this thing. Well, interestingly, she is an assassin, though. So you are you are of different classes. In the... Okay, well... Interesting. Pop that on. Okay. And combat suit, not really. Uh, this this will this is best for you because then you, you're you're all right. You're kind of crit based. You're kind of kind of green, so we'll go with that. It is hilarious that they gave all this stuff for like you know quick when they just added in Castoria. And it's like dang, way to way to take the wind out of that sail. That's a lot of HP, huh? What? I don't need your... Oh. Immune to all debuffs. Nullify buff. Unremovable. Bruh? So we can't even, like... Do you like this? Wow. Okay. Just a real normal battle, then? I was going to say, the gain should still work. Huh. 
What are you expect? Are we just supposed to do as much damage as possible? Something's gonna happen. There's no way that this is gonna be a regular battle. Right? There's gotta be something that pops up to be like, you know, this is not how it's going. No, not enough. There we go. She's not doing a ton of damage, but it is a bit. Okay, well, let's pop the super. Get a bunch of green. I don't know what we're waiting for. I do wonder if it has to do with her saying I have to match her timing. Is it going to be when she pops her Noble Phantasm I have to do something after that? Like, because it has the, the debuffs, right? I wonder. Like, can I pop that? No. No, there's nothing there. Oh. Okay. Uh. 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 What are you asking of me? Okay, that had a little bit of a delay that made it look like there's something's happening. Yeah, like... Okay, do we have unlimited... Where did the guts come from? What is happening? Just a bit weird. Is this literally just gonna be this over and over? This is strange. That did more damage at least. Some decent stuff, but not a ton. There we go. I was gonna say, you better finish now, because I don't know what you're expecting of me otherwise. Okay. Archer? Who? Archer? Well, it's a good matchup for Yume Ren, at least. And there she goes. Got you. If you fight death with death and life with life, then of course you've got to fight explosions with explosions. Huh? <laughs> you thought you would kill me with me? That would mean losing a battle against myself, and that's never gonna happen. If it ever came to that, I'd sooner blow myself to kingdom come. You, you're gonna self-destruct? My curse simply obeys his will, bloom and scatter, like the poppy flower of my past. Anti-Fling Rondo. If I'm blowing up, I'm taking you with me. Just the fact that her whole thing is I blow up into... stuff is, yeah. <laughs> blood, blood, blood everywhere! It's... Not anything new at this point, but like, damn, even when you know it's coming, it's still pretty gross, isn't it? It's best you not get too accustomed to this sort of thing, Master. How can you be so heartless? Didn't you see that lady? You just just went bam, like an overinflated balloon. Yeah, that's okay. I've seen it many times. Huh? She'll be back soon. So did she pop? And then use that to absorb the blood of the other one. And I'm back. Oh, she's back. Thank goodness. Wait, no, damn it. What, what's going on, Lady You? Where'd the other Lady You go? She blew up too, right? So when she did, yeah, then she absorbed it. I merged with her. Sick. Yeah, that's actually awesome. Merged? Merged? Did she just say merged? See that, Kohai? There's nothing I can't do. We saw it. It's, um, very impressive. I guess anything goes with the senpai. Are you sure you didn't get anything weird mixed in while you were merging senpai? Huh? What do you mean weird? 
A fly? W oh, oh, no, I don't even want to think about that. That, that is the worst movie ever. Like, I get it. I get what it's talking about, but that is the, w the, uh, the like, we're talking horror movies. The fly in concept alone is enough to make me want to die. Like that, all the other movies in this, it's like, haha, horror, that's fun. That one, nope, too much. I never merged with anything like that. I'm fine. At least I'm pretty sure I'm fine. Be honest with me. Do I have any weird wings or antenna? Those would be fine. It's other things that I'd be worried about. It's okay, you may Ren. You're still your usual swimsuit itself. Right. Of course I am. How about you, Tanner? What do you think? About you be my perfect Yume Ren senpai? You're the same beautiful perfect senpai you always were. Double co-high points for you. It's not over yet. I still have the immortal slaying mask. Sure do. So I'm gonna smash it now. Okay, Kohai, perfect. You may per oh, that's good. Is gonna do her thing. Sound the gong. Gong? We didn't bring a gong. Then do your best gong pressure. Okay, um. Boom. Oh. <laughs> I'm happy the game and I. We are on the same wavelength. There, now I'm all fired up, ready to punish you for your mystique, Shufu. Really? Oh, I can't wait. Wait, wait, do over! Well, very well then, Lady Yu. If that is what I must do to give you the death you so desire, then I'll just have to kill you myself. Sorry, Shifu, but I stopped wishing for that death a while ago. But, oh well. Now that we've come this far, I'll just have to knock some sense into you. From this point on, this horror movie is now officially an action flick. Ever seen one of those, Shufu? In action flicks, you can destroy just about anything with a strong enough attack. Now let's do this. It just becomes Fast and the Furious. Who's, who's uh, Vin Diesel? All right. Mm, let's see here. What what level is your Skaha? Oh, okay, yep, I'll take that. I'll take that for sure. Cannot be... Okay, so in the front, so we want to go with Kill Lancer. Why are you here? No, that's why. It's the wrong one. We want Kill Archer. Kill Archer, there we go. Boom, bam. Let's do this thing. Is it going to be just a big ghost? It's going to be just a big ghost. They won't give a unique sprite. Yep. That's what I expected. At least it's a custom one. Overcharge level up. Nice. You can support gut. Wow. Okay. Bruh. That's a lot. Uh, I guess we'll just go for a red chain to start. Start with this. Um, yeah, we'll just go with the red chain to begin with. Actually, we could pop this on you, right? Because then you get crit strength up. Sure. Because we have our our um, stun immune on you. Let's go one, two, three. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Well, that's one done. Kill you gently, HP recovery down. Okay. Cool. So, um, we can get a bunch of green now if we want. Is it one turn for you? One turn for effectiveness up. Three turns. Okay, we'll start with this. Let's get a butt ton of green. And then we'll do that. For next turn. Okay. Yeah, wow, you're doing some good damage here. Yeah, recovery zero, but that's fine. Okay. Let's go one, two, three. So that'll give you a lot of stuff. Nice. Yeah, baby. Final gauge. Death chance up, ignore happiness, three cranes, guts. Is the death chance on your, uh, what, what's that on, I wonder? Um, dodge. Let's go target focus on you. Is that if it is single target, you can go with that. 
Okay, no, none of that. Hey, can we charm you? Sick. Wonderful. Let's go with that. Versus undead. Pop that on you. And, uh, okay, so let's go one, two, three. All right, let's see how this goes. Do your gay bulb thing! Hey, we got the stun. That, whoa, that damage! Bruh! How many... Okay, last guts there. That's ridiculous. How much damage did you have on that? Like, again, I know it's because she's all buffed up for the event, but oh man. Thank you. Yo, these level 120 servants are kind of ballin'. I should probably work on mine, huh? But I'm, I'm right now giving all the, the stuff... Oh, nice. Uh, right now I'm giving all the stuff for, um, you know, my new servants, so I don't have any experience. Uh, it's over. Well, there it goes. Uh, there, I smashed it to pieces. And my hopes and your dreams along with it. It took me 2,200 years to make it. Yeah, because remember, she arrived here in 200 BC. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm sure that sucks, but unfortunately, I just don't need it now. What about 100 years from now? Are you sure you'll still feel the same way then? You might be happy now, but you don't know what's going to happen over the next 100 years. Someone could summon you and force you to do things that eat away at your soul. Someone could discover your inhuman nature and imprison you and torture you for their own gains. So why? How can you be so sure that... <laughs> you think you know my own mind better than I do? I'll cross that bridge when I reach it a hundred hell, a thousand years from now. I'm sure my future self will curse my present self sometimes. Hell, I'm sure there'll be times when I'll be pissed off at my past self too. But I'd never think of making any requests for my future self to uphold. Now that I've been reunited with Lord Xiang Yu, my place, my feelings... I'll always be right here. <clears throat> and well, I guess technically the group of Kohai there might have a little something to do with it too. Only a little though. Thank you, Yume Ren. Best senpai in the world. Don't you mean in the universe? <laughs> I've never seen anyone so fickle. You're naive, selfish, and standoffish all at once. Remember when you used to yearn for death? Yeah, I do. That's why I made that mask, you know. I thought you had a right to choose whether to go on living or to rest in peace forever. But see, the problem with that's... Oh, yes, I know. That goal began to warp into something else even when I was still alive. My pursuit of immortality became about killing it. And I imbued that mask with countless false deaths in order to realize that goal. I wasn't playing around, but I was taking a risk. When I first came to the Singularity, my old home really, I was honestly taken aback. I never would have dreamed that my apprentices could have made it this far. It took them sacrificing their lives and conducting countless inhumane experiments, but they came to tantalizing close, tantalizingly close to reaching the goal. Yeah, they did. They might have picked the worst possible way to go about trying to kill an immortal, but it might have just been the simplest approach humans could take. All the time it took them aside. Yes, that's the most regrettable part, isn't it? Oh well, nothing can be done for it now. No, there isn't. Like they say, you reap what you sow, and what you've sown has reaped you a miserable disappearance. <laughs> if that's true, then it's only a matter of time until you fade away miserably too. Yeah, you're not wrong. But that's not happening just yet. I'm happy to let my future self deal with it when the time comes. You really are the worst. Oh, shut up. The way she turns her nose up in indignation hasn't changed at all, not even 2,200 years later. No, it seems that I'm the one who's changed. Somewhere along the way, I began to keep her by, to want to keep her by my side, even though I knew her innocence and free spirit would never tire down to anyone. But who could blame me? I'm only human. So that, it's interesting. This feels like a reverse Tsukihime almost, where it's like the perspective from the outside of like, 
like we see Shiki's perspective towards Arkwood, but this is almost his like Arkwood's perspective towards Shiki, just in terms of like that idea of like the the fleeting vampire sort of thing, kind of kind of no, not a hundred percent, but like similar. I'm only human, and no human would want to relegate that stunning figure she struck to a single night's dream. In that sense, I guess it really I really was ordinary. Still, at least one good thing came from this. You know, Lady Yu, even if I have to suffer eternal torment in hell for what I've done, I don't regret any of it. After all, everything I did, let me see you again. Goodbye, Shufu. May you never be able to be summoned, I guess. It's finally over, huh? Fufu. Yes, it is. Even Fu is exhausted. My ally? Is that you, my ally? I'm happy to report that all the servants who were being held in the underworld are being freed up as we speak. They should all make their way back to the land of the living momentarily. Huh, we thought you guys might be all wrapped up here. All the slashers, zombies, and ghosts we were fighting have disappeared. Well, there do seem to be a few stragglers left behind, but I'm sure they'll follow suit soon enough. Ah, congratulations on a job well done, everyone. I think it's time we returned to the cottage and played some party games. Are you and Mash okay, Tanner? We're fine. Thank you, Ilya. I'm glad to see you're okay, too. <laughs> Yay! I see. So it's all over, then. Thanks, Abby. You helped, I guess. Don't thank me. If you want to thank someone, it should be my father and his elder friends. You're... You're calling... You're calling the elder god that you're with the, your father now? I'm only the Shrine Maiden, serving as the vessel for the Outer God's power, after all. Okay, 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 even so, I guess I appreciate it. Well, I suppose I can live with that. Is it just me, or does Master tend to pay more attention to kids who are a little bit naughty? Don't! Stop! Hey, makes sense. Well-behaved kids don't need as much- It is true, because, like, you just leave them alone. How do kids get- Stop! Hey, Tatter! She just turns to me, she's like- Fuck. And you're just like, Ilya! No! What's up? Uh, well, can I whisper something to you? Oh, is she actually doing it? Okay, here goes. Jerk, Debbie. It'd be so much funnier if she said a bad word. Huh? Ruby, it's not working! Well, <laughs> sorry, Leah, but you're just not cut out to be naughty. So now I'm just a girl who spun out a bunch of nonsense and tenor. Master, could you lend me your hand for a moment? My hand? Why are you biting my hand? What the- Abigail Senpai, what in the world are you doing? Oops, looks like that pathetic naughty movie you pulled only lit a fire under her butt. Hey, don't call me pathetic. Is she eating my hand? Why? What? How adorable. It seems all the servants who had been drowning in Shangri-La managed to make their way out. I did do my best to stop the mastermind from assembling her collection of death. But I'm gonna miss this now that it's over. I would have liked to enjoy myself a little more. Man, you're a piece of work, aren't you? Isn't it messed up that in another world he, like, killed all of her people? And, like, her? And that's when he became... of a... of a different brotherhood, if you understand what I'm saying? Still, well, I hate to admit it, I do get the sense you didn't do anything wrong. Maybe it's just in your nature to throw things out of whack even when you're helping. And end up saving the world while you're being evil. <laughs> I take it that's your way of warning me to behave myself? You know, I originally came here just looking for a nice little getaway, but I really must say this has turned out to be a summer to remember. I may not have been able to save any of those in need of assistance as I originally hoped, but I still got what I really wanted out of this and that's enough for me. Now then, if you'll excuse me, nameless heroic spirit, I think I'll head back to Caldia now. What she really wanted? You know what? I'm, I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to head back to the cottage. No sense overthinking a woman whose true nature I couldn't pin down if my life depended on it. So, Because it's interesting, because you can't even get an interaction between them and CCC, because there's no Emya in CCC. It's... Gil replaces, huh? Hmm. Well, I guess it's the last night we'll be spending here. So would it seem. Soon night will give way to dawn, and dawn in turn today. Oh, the morning dew, the morning fog. Alright, everyone, I'd say we earned ourselves a day to unwind and relax. 
What do you say we all spend this last days we see fit until we're ready to return home? Incidentally, I'm thinking of taking my beloved on a nice relaxing fishing trip. Fishing, eh? I like the sound of that. I'm a little sleepy, so I think I'll just go to bed. How about you, Abigail Senpai? I'm getting tired of being called Senpai. Uh, me? I'm not sure. Then, would you like to join me? I've been wanting to talk to you about all sorts of things. Especially Tanner. Well, I suppose so. Just make sure you two brush your teeth. After, you know, you bit into me. Okay. Well, I do not know about everyone else, but I'm more than ready for some video games. Does anyone care to join me? You know, I've never played one before. Could I ask you to teach me, Lady Tomoe? Absolutely. Come on. We begin with a tutorial. All right, I'm going to go rest up, too. I'm pretty beat after what happened. How about you two? Well, um, I was thinking I'd stay here a little longer and watch the sunrise. That's so? All right. Later then, Kohai. You did great, senpai. You really did. And you'd better appreciate it. It's not easy being a senpai, you know. It's a beautiful sunrise, isn't it? Hmm. Yeah, it is. Right. It's been a tremendous honor getting to spend another summer with you, senpai. Okay, master. We only have a little more time, more of this precious time left. So let's make the most of our summer. That looks like a penis. Sorry. Just looks like look like slime Mara. Well. Ba bam! Saint Quartz. Alright. Final section, sequel to the aftermath of joy and sadness. We definitely want that, but actually, we should have. Ooh, nice. File 8 and File 9. Let's get File 8 first. Bunny, Royal Bunny, what's this one going to be? Increase art card effectiveness or quick art or buster when it's... So, you know what that'd be really good for? That'd be really good if I put that on um, Artoria. Because then that would mean, well, then again, art. But then, because then if I if I give it to on like her arts card, then it can do both increase her arts or her buster if we want it to be right. That might not be that might not be bad. I could see about that. Complete ninety missions. Okay, we're working on that. Report on immortal something mask. Okay, let's read that one first before we move on here. Now, what's this report? Is this about the mask that we just killed, or something else? Jay? What do you mean, Jay? File 8. Report on Immortal <laughs> Mask J. Only the new head of research or those authorized by the head of research may access this file. There are two types of masks, referred to as J001 and J002. Essentially, 001 is the prototype and 002 is the mask production model. Anyone working with 001, including the head of research, should seek admin approval before touching it. Make sure they understand that whoever touches the mask is not to damage it under any circumstances, even if further... Okay, so 001 is the main mask that we saw, and 002 is what the people were wearing. Okay. The manufacturing process for 001 has been lost and our goals to properly complete it. The mass-produced 002 models are merely one possible means to this end. So what do we use as our criteria for completion? You have been told that the aim for 001 is to grant immortality when worn. This is a cover story. Our true goal is to discover how to kill an immortal. Now, after 2,200 years of research, we have determined that the way to truly kill an immortal is to crush all of their possibilities. Okay. So then we have been simulating her death and collecting every conceivable method of murder. Some people initially had the idea to use humans, but the proposal was summar summarily rejected. Uh, to do so would cost over 100,000 lives, and killing so many humans so quickly would soon alert the outside- Yeah, that would, yeah, to the village's existence. So instead, we put O2 masks on dolls created under the first head of research and used them to simulate and collect different methods of murder. So, rip to those dolls, but also, you know, okay. Any concept the O2 masks collected would then be added to O01. And recorded as a single so basically like Naruto doing his clone jutsu to do a bunch of stuff and then go back together, yeah. Once O01 has recorded every possible way to be killed, it should then be able to crush any possibility of an immortal continuing to live. Thereby creating the means to kill an immortal. So please hurry as fast as you can, we have no time left to waste. 
Please hurry so that all our hard work will not be for naught. I really like how this wrapped up. This is a, this event wraps up in a way that you just 100% understand the event, and I love that. P.S. All further research with the first head of research's dolls is now prohibited. We have learned that dolls wearing the masks have a tendency to go berserk and spread curses at an alarming rate. One such curse has also attached itself to the Mount Horai Anthem tape. Uh-oh, please destroy that tape in question. While this scenario may be similar to the Living Dead that were researched at one point, the potential danger is several orders of magnitude greater. Make no mistake, those dolls are filled with contempt for humans. So we have decided to dispose of all the First Head's dolls, including the imitation males and virtual females. Some suggest that we use the menial labor dolls in their place. But if those dolls were to go berserk, we would have no means of stopping them. Suffice to say, our long-held wish uh, has ended with extremely disappointing results. We recommend leaving this mountain as soon as possible and forgetting everything that took place here. Okay. I really like what this is, this event puts down. It's legitimately interesting. And the other one there. Got that. Shufu's Diary at the Cottage. Alright. Let's read her diary. Yeah, I never heard of Shufu till now. And now that I know, that's kind of kind of interesting. Literally kind of like the King Dynasty's, like, Merlin. File 9, Shufu's Diary. I've been summoned as a servant. It must mean I'm supposed to resume my research here on Mount Horai. So from here on, I'll be keeping a diary. After all, if I'm here, then Lady Yu must be too. The first thing I'm going to do is see what's become of Mount Horai over the last 2,000 odd years. July. Uh, this is amazing. The people I brought here must have been even more talented than I realized. They not only stayed on this mountain for 2,200 years, they've continued our research the whole time. I won't deny that the fruits of their labors have degraded with each passing year. But even so, they managed to come tantalizingly close to our ultimate goal. Unfortunately, it also seems this village died off about 40 years ago. I doubt they went out with any sort of bang. Science has come to dominate the entire world, leaving no more room for secrets to hide. So they must have realized they simply couldn't go on like this any longer, especially since not everyone can live their lives like I did. Even the imitation people, the dolls I created so we can perform our experiments without killing real people, were no longer usable. It seems my successor just tried hiring new people to carry out experiments on without killing them, but with little in the way of success. Near the end, their population had declined to less than 100 people. Still, they did make it this far over the last 2,000 years, and I'll be damned if I let their achievements go to waste. It's funny, because I, I seriously thought that this would be, like, related to Kiara, and it's like, it's not at all, I guess. Like, I thought this would be an event related to where she took her uprising, her upbringing, right? I dug up the dolls that we used for manual labor and freed the ones that had been sealed away. They may act up from time to time, but they're all willing to do what I say. So it only makes sense to use them as my pawns. All that aside, their faces are huge, huh? Oh, on a different subject, the thing that surprised me most is the historical record said I was a man. Yep, that it did. I knew I had my share of enemies back in the palace, but I never would have expected them to get back at me like this. That emperor didn't care if you were a man or a woman. All that emperor cared about was whether he could get the job done. That is true about Kinshi Huang, too. Though, of course, the emperor was more than a little unusual as well. At any rate, history thinking me as a man won't have any effect on my ability to see my plans through, so I won't pay it any more mind. August 6th. Someone showed up on the mountain out of nowhere today, even though it's in the process of becoming a singularity. It scared me enough that the first thing I did was use the mask to kill her. I swear, what was she even doing here? She kind of looked like a mermaid. Oh, but I didn't think she was. Okay, well, that explains that. August 8th. Well, it happened. Other servants have been summoned to the Singularity. But while I expected that, I didn't at all expect that one of them would promise to help me. I'm sure she has her own goals in mind, but as long as it works out in my favor, that's fine with me. August 8th. And now the other shoe is dropped. She's finally here. It's not exactly surprising, but it is strange to see her look the same as she did thousands of years ago. She's just as dainty as I remember, and just as strong too, so I was happy to see I was so happy to see her I cried a little. Now at last I finally have the Immortal Slayer mask in my hands. I have to do this. I'm basically the reason the singularity exists. So it should be well within my means to brainwash servants and use them to do my bidding. I'll also read the Master of Kaldi's memories and transform into him. I'll have to do so as a female version of him, thanks to the whole yin and yang thing. There we go! Alright! But oh well. Here in this singularity, anything I don't like can easily be fudged over with my visual and auditory illusions. Alright, there we go. 
Well, that one servant who controls dreams could be a problem, but I'll find and deal with her too eventually. I'm scared of fighting and terrible at it, but I'll do the best I can. This mask is so close to becoming a craft essence capable of killing immortals that I can almost taste it. Will she hate me for this? Will she praise me for it? Either way is fine with me. I didn't come all this way for cheap talk, whether angry, happy, or anything in between. At least that's what I thought. But at one point, something changed. Now I want to keep her close by at all times. I want to gaze upon her forever. Most importantly, these feelings she hated so much had tied me down. I could end up losing her. Losing here, my wish, our wish, could end up vanishing along with this singularity. But I think I'm okay with that too. I guess if heaven and hell really do exist, there's no question where I'm headed. The villagers, though, they should be okay. After all, they never killed anyone aside from that one mage, and they were hardly a sin. So who is that, I wonder? Then again, I guess having everything disappear into nothingness in the end would be a fitting way for us to go out. Who is the mage they killed? August... <laughs> I need to write this down before I completely lose my mind. I loved her from the bottom of my heart, both platonically and romantically. Wow, that's all there was to it. That should have been enough for me, except it wasn't. From a distance, she hasn't changed at all, but I know her history now. Not long after she and I met, she met a hero by the name of Xiang Yu. Part of me was jealous of him, while another part felt relieved. That part was happy to know that she found someone she loved, even if they were only together for a short time. Even though there's no other creature on Earth as elegant as her, she's still found something everyone has in common. So even if I should fail and this body turns to dust, I won't have any regrets. Our final battle is coming up soon and only one side will be walking away victorious. So come on, Tanner and Kaldia, let's see what you've got. I'm shocked the game just blatantly said out loud, like, Oh yeah, no, I love her, by the way. That was a lie, I don't really mean it. The truth is, I don't feel any kind of pressure to win. After all, whether I win or they do, I know she'll be happy. Which is why I know I have nothing to fear. While I'm at it, if someone else is reading this diary right now, then it must mean that Kaldia won. So Tanner, if that's you, then I'll ask you here now. Please take care of Lady Yume Ren for me. And Mash, if you're reading this too, then I'd just like to say I'm sorry for everything, but I really did enjoy the time we spent together. The Mechakure sisters, right? The, with the hair covering, of course, of course. That was well written. Hot dang. Alright. Give me that. Uh, okay. Well, looks like we have the... I might as well proc the final section here so that if I need to do any grinding, I can. Final section! Sequel to the aftermath of Sadness and Joy. Even that title makes perfect sense now. Hello? Are we... Hey, we're here. Sometime later. Well, well, sounds like you had a blast. How do we not remember any of that shit? I'm so sorry, you were dead, so... You think I'm that easy to kill? Oh well, maybe. From everything you've said, it sounds like that singularity would have been a really bad match for me. I think I would have managed fine, but I could see myself getting lost in a dream. That's exactly what I did, so I was right then. Um, at any rate, I'm so glad you completed your investigation successfully. So what about your hubby? He ditched you or what? Alter, there are some things it's just not polite to ask about, no matter how much I- er, You want to know. Well, you're doing a shit job of pretending not to care, Miss High and Mighty. <laughs> Let's just say things between us are the same as ever. So that's how a mature woman handles these things. Gamers! And that's the whole story, Lady Osaka Bahime. Ah, sounds like things were pretty tight tough over there. Uh, I had to worry about that myself since I've been shut up in here this whole time. Is that not kind of bad in its own right? I couldn't help it. No matter what I did, all the hopes and dreams I had for my draft just never seemed to come true. I told her truthfully over and over. You'll never finish in time for this summer singularity like that, you know. But Batty still ended up running behind with her latest draft again. But that aside, you said I fought a fake version of Master at, some, at one point? I don't remember that at all, but I'm glad she at least turned out to be a fake. Not that there's anything good about fakes, of course, since they're personified lies who deserve nothing but better than a fiery death. You were hardly the only one. The imposter had us all fooled. At any rate, I'm a little cross about how I have no summer camp memories with Master. 
At this point, I think my only choice to make some is to create another summer vacation singularity. A uh, summer, the season where fair-hearted maidens wish to spend a romantic night with the object of her affections. And by a night, I specifically mean at least one Googleplex's worth of nights. F Google what a Googleplex is if you don't know how big that number is. A Googleplex's worth of nights? Is that a long time? Well, a Google is one followed by a hundred zeros, and a Googleplex is a Google Times itself, so yeah, it's a ridiculously long time. There you go. Hey, Kiryu, you, you ever think you might just be, like, a bit too attached to Machan? Not at all. I think it's a wonderfully romantic expression of love. Oh, uh, speaking of romantics, have you seen that new Roman guy yet? Oh, yes, you mean Lord Romulus, the young one. Oh, completely dis- So there's a younger one, too. Not just the one with rock-hard abs? If that gorgeous golden armor of his is any indication, it's no wonder Rome became so famous, ha! <laughs> we citizens of Japan simply do not have anything so ostentatious. I don't know, I hear it used to be known as the Golden Land of Zipangu at one point. Uh, Yata combo! Oh no! Shut up. Shut up, you're not playing Street Fighter. One unbroken string of expert parries leading into a friendship lovality. For a special move with friendship and love in the name, it seems much more focused on unadulterated hostility. I guess it does, but anyway, I win. Now they're playing Mortal Kombat, I guess. Yes, yes, good for you, Batty. Now, what about the camp? Well, you know, Master didn't miss having you around, Lady Osaka Bihime. Uh, uh, hey, Dad? He just wanted to do my vice. That's why. He loves doing my vice. Also, my fat boobers, but mostly my vice. Did he now? He did, especially when we were all playing video games together. So, he just wanted another player? <laughs> I'm joking. Still, that does motivate you, yes? Uh, Alright, I'm not gonna stop playing- I'm, I'm not gonna stop playing him, so I'm gonna change to the one that's all- what? But I, I'm gonna change the one that's all about getting in shape. Once I've slimmed that- No, you don't need to, trust me. Trust me, this- Trust me when I say, your master would much prefer that not to happen. Trust me. Once I've slimmed down a bit with that, then I'll go hang with Machan. Get that ring fit out. I know this may be rich coming from me, but are you sure a video game is really going to help you get into shape? It's just like I always say, nothing beats burning, whether it's romance or calories. Ah, uh, just to reassure myself, you're not one of those people who likes to, like, put the dye in diet, are you? Well, yes I am, and you know I would never lie. There has to be a better way to lose weight. Uh, I wonder if there's a good fitness game in VR. Why are you looking at me like that? And that is the long and short of it. Gotcha. Sounds like these other versions of us went through a hell of a time. So this William guy shot somebody never should have, huh? That's rough. No wonder he had a breakdown. You say this other me like to submit and to lick shoes, huh? That is truly the ultimate oppression. Nonetheless, this nightmare of mine was just that, a nightmare. Now that I am awake, it has no more power to oppress than a glass figurine. You know, for a berserker, you've got a real poetic side to you. Anyway, my nightmare was about failing due to lack of funds and connections, huh? But so what? It was all just an illusion. Dreaming big is all well and good, but it ain't in my nature to leave my dreams unfulfilled. Changing the kind of dreams others would love to have into reality is how you change the world. So I'm gonna make them happen and change the world no matter what it takes. Huh. Chasing one's dreams is indeed all well and good, Columbus, but be warned. If I should find you oppressing others in the course of pursuing your dreams, I will gladly do all I can to rebel against them. Huh. Me oppress others, don't be... Holy... Oh, that's a screenshot. Oh, that's a screenshot. That's a screenshot. Oof. Oh my god. That's- I'm just putting that on Twitter with big caption. Oof. That's amazing. Of course you would. Of course you would. Alright. Besides, I've got God guiding me in my way of uh, most of my endeavors, you know. Sure, buddy. I don't even know what oppression or immortal behavior looks like. How could I do it myself? Oh my god. Well now, is that so? Sure is. Damn, that was close. I nearly got myself labeled in pressure. His oppressor status currently at 89%. 
should it rise to 90 that I will begin my rebellion. And those two are both hanging on by a thread, aren't they? Uh, is there a reason all three of you went silent so suddenly? Mm. Come to think of it, Prince of Lan Ling, have you seen Yume Ren at all since you got back? No, I haven't. Given everything I said last time, well... I'm too embarrassed to show my face around her now. Shame is but temporary oppression. <laughs> Liberate yourself from its yoke. <laughs> oh my god, that's another good one. But I gotta re But, but, but... <laughs> I'm gonna then just say Spartacus says cringe culture is dead. Spartacus says cringe culture is dead. That's so funny. That's so- that's strong. Let Darkland free once more! <laughs> Collapsing under a table. Okay. And so we have returned. Now is the time to celebrate our king's triumph. Wow. What an amazing adventure you all had. So what do you do while this was going on, Mordred? Well, all I know is that at some point I started having this crazy awesome dream. Apparently it was all a complete crock of shit, but who cares? Oh, for- come on, Mordred, this is no laughing matter. You're a knight of the round table. You should have re resisted that lie with honor like they- <laughs> <laughs> Died without a fight. How about it, ass faces? Say something. No. We. Got. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Quit harmonizing! Ah, beautiful knights in shining beachwear. Knights who met their, meet their end in death and dreams alike. Now that you are awake, all is well once again. Oh, happy day, oh, happy day. It's so weird, he's like normal-ish again. I'm not happy about this, not one bit. Oh, I don't know. I think there is cause to be happy here. Oh yeah? Why's that? We now know that even if we should face a foe we knights of the round table simply cannot overcome, Caldia will still emerge triumphant in the end. We can now rest assured in the knowledge that our comrades from other lands and worlds have proven to be just as committed to this fight as we are. That is both encouraging and a source of pride for us all. Indeed, Sir Lancelot speaks the truth. We, com we have comrades here we can trust to watch our backs, even if they are not fellow knights of the round table. Is this set? Oh my god, my man's fingered up in his trousers. Um... Is this setting up for, like, the next Lost Belt, just being, like, you know, r reminding you about them? That is just as true in the tavern as it is for the battlefield. That trust gives our sword arms strength, regardless of what manner of predicament we may find ourselves in. As such, there is nothing we need fear, regardless of what may happen to us. Gotta hand it to these guys, they're not complete dumbasses all the time. But of course, a true knight must be chivalrous and wise as they are in battle, as adept in battle, Mordred. Which is why it might serve you to spend a little less time at the beach and a little more at the library. What was that? Okay, that's enough. I, for one, don't want to get in trouble for fighting in the cafeteria again. Then allow me to lighten the mood by singing a song. By all means, Sir Tristan. Are you ready, Phantom? Then let's begin. Music note. That's the song. Okay, we're gonna go now. Bye-bye, Adelante. Come on, Lily. Let's be on our way. I'm surprised you're all handling this so well. I don't know when I'll be able to sleep without a nightlight again. Don't worry, it's okay. If any monsters show up, we'll just dismember them. I guess the fact we really are fine even after everything that happened is one of our greatest strengths. I suppose I have the Brothers Grimm to thank for that, for better. Yeah, it's true. Your, your fairy tales are messed up. <sighs> I am completely exhausted. I do enjoy playing with children, but it's also a lot of hard work. In fact, I think energetic children may even be more frightening than ghosts or zombies. Tell me about it. Oof. True, you did a wonderful job entertaining them as well. Thank you. Oh, uh, don't mention it. Can I ask you for your assistance on the next playdate as well? Are you serious? Very. Honestly, I really am freaking exhausted, but it was also a lot of fun. Can't let them down if they're depending on me. All right, I'll be there. Good. Incidentally, you should know that there are other children's playmates who would have joined us if they had not been otherwise indisposed. Like, who? Sup? Oh, so you're the new guy, man, Ricardo. I'm Achilles, the Invincible Hero of Legend. Glad to meet you. I'm Chiron, the head teacher. It would be wonderful to have an assistant during class. Oh my, oh me, oh my. Aren't you just absolutely darling, child? 
There's a good boy. Would you like a candy? Requesting a transfer ASAP. That's funny. That's pretty good. Huh, I sure am glad to be back. The mission was really tough. You don't say. Huh, is that so? Huh? What's going on? Why do you two sound upset? Probably because I just finished listening to you tell them about your once in a materialization summer vacation. Vacation? I was frightened out of my wits end almost the whole time. Don't give me that. I would have given anything to be snuggling up with masters. We solved a singularity together. Snuggling? I wasn't snuggling anyone, Kuro. And would you please stop standing up and waving your wand around me? Wait, you're waving it at me? Why? I searched for you all over there, but I never managed to find you. I think it's because Ruby never responded to any of the messages I had Sapphire send out. Now you've got to pay. I already told you our communications were jammed. We couldn't contact anybody. Would you children please be quiet if you can? Oh, hi, Abigail Senpai. Senpai? That's right, Senpai, accepting it. She's right, you know. This singularity was a lot for children for a child to handle. It's better for all of you that you stayed out of it like you should have. What's with this girl? She looks the same age as us. But she's so grown up! In that sense, I suppose you could say Ilya's even climbed the staircase- Stop! What do you mean? You think I guess so, or I hope so, huh? <laughs> you may be on the staircase right now, Ilya, but you're barely halfway up the first step. Suffice to say, you've still got a long, long way to go. I know that, you don't have to tell me. Oh, speaking of the staircase to adulthood, I wonder if- Shut up. God, why would you say it like that? I wonder where Cesarine is now. After we came back to Kaldi together, I believe she was punished somehow. I had to get my spirit origin sealed away too, so I'm only at half power now. Though I must say, it was very strange. Cesarine seemed so happy about her punishment, it was almost creepy. Oh, yeah. Ah, I wonder why that is. Beats me. Congratulations on a job well done, everyone. Well, well, if it isn't the hero of the singularity. Enjoy your summer stint in the mountains. Stop that, Lord Henderson. You're embarrassing me. We may not have been part of this latest ray shift, but we are told that your contributions were enough to make any author's servant proud. I don't know about that. I had to depend on my movie knowledge much more than it did my storytelling skills. Really, the whole singularity would never have been resolved without the efforts of everyone else who ray shifted there with me. I see, I see. On a different note, might I ask, what has become of your swimsuit? Oh, that? Well, um, I thought it might not be the most uh, appropriate attire with which to walk around Caldia. Oh, but perhaps my literary girl outfit would be another story. Well now, that sounds fascinating. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Could I ask you something, Lord Anderson? Mm, what is it? Is it going to be, did you finish The Little Mermaid too? So... They say I'll need to be kept under close supervision for a while to ensure I don't engage in any further undesirable independent action. I can't say I blame them. After all, I've never truly been fully present here. Better for them to not include me as part of the regular roster. Now, more importantly... <laughs> I did it, I did it, I really did it. After all these years, the dream I had all but abandoned has finally come true. Yes, that's right. Though I did originally turn into a child version myself in order to pull the wool over Shufu's eyes. While I was wandering about aimlessly, I was still fortunate enough to encounter a servant in the woods grumbling about wanting to go home. So you're lost too, huh? Damn it of all the luck. I just can't just sit around then, can I? I don't mind dying like a dog out here by myself, but I can't do that with a child around. Alright, if you don't have anywhere else to go, then come with me. If all you need is a roof over your head, I know a place with plenty of rooms to spare. With my memory sealed away, I didn't think twice about going with that servant. It wasn't until later that I learned he was one of the world's most eminent storybook authors and that he had been summoned to that singularity as his young adult self. Oh, it's a whole different servant. As a child unaware of my identity as Cesarean Chiara, I unwittingly asked him to grant a wish I'd, I'd had ever since my real childhood. You're at least a thousandth person to ask me for that, but... All right. I already have some idea of how I'd go about it. I was too proud to write sequels to any of my own hit stories back when I was still alive. But now that I'm a rootless servant, I guess I could make at least one child's dream come true. And so he began to write. Well, not immediately. At first he insisted on a fancy writing desk followed by a private study. But eventually I managed to provide him with his ideal writing environment and got him to finally start putting pen to paper. It was a most impressive feat if I do say so myself. Well done indeed, Lily. 
when you get right down to it, people are driven by insatiable desires. My ham-fisted villainy and the way I went about trampling all over Shufu's fervent wish were all to divert attention from my true goal. Den il hafre dry. Den il hafre dry. I don't know if it's German, actually. <laughs> I'm just guessing. My one desire in all this was the sequel to The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Do we tell her about the Disney movie? Time to make some tea and I'll get cookies while I'm at it. I hum happily as I go preparing the perfect reading environment. I take a deep breath. I don't care about how awful it may have turned out. The important thing is I finally have the sequel I'd always dreamed of since I was a child. I take another deep breath. All right, I'm off to my own private Shangri-La. And with that, I slowly turn the first page. You met an adult version of me? And you say he was writing? In a decrepit old building, no less? Yes, that's right, which is why I simply had to ask. Tell me, Lord Anderson, would you be able to write in such an environment? Huh, who do you think I am? You're talking to a man who continuously bemoaned the state of the world and said he was sure to die any moment, even as he ultimately ended up living to the ripe old age of 70. Even in this other version, even if this other version of me had been motivated to do so. Wow. I could never have gotten any writing done in such an overwhelmingly hospitable environment, you moron. Coming soon. Tucked inside the book's blank pages was a single small bookmark with the following message. Sorry, I just couldn't write it. Oh, she's so mad. She's so mad. Oh? I say, Anderson, am I imagining things or do you hear faint echoes of someone cursing your name too? <laughs> of course it's your imagination. Chills down my spine. Absurd. What incredible confidence. But I don't believe him about the chills. The only thing I'm afraid of is the readers telling me to my face that they want to read a sequel. Besides, when you're a writer, people are going to gossip about you no matter what, right? So you can't pay attention to endless rumors. Those kinds of gr groundless musings, mirages, if you will, can be a writer's downfall. Or tweeting. That could also be a writer's downfall. Isn't that right, J.K. Rowling? Oh, hi! <sighs> So the summer dream has come to an end. Now that the nightmare is over, all that remains is the reality of tomorrow. The situation may have been a bit more of a hassle than I expected, but now that it's all over, all's well that ends well. Still, a sequel to The Little Mermaid, huh? I can't say I'm not intrigued. But I know better than to ask for the impossible. Now then, since our paths have crossed like this, why don't we take this opportunity to enjoy a cup of coffee? That's what I have right here. I should take a sip of mine. It's probably cold by now. Hmm. Yeah, that's cold. Cold coffee's nice, though. Oh, hey! Look at this. Lord Shang Yu! Hello, beloved. You arrived five minutes earlier than I'd calculated. Of course I did. Every good woman knows to be ready five minutes ahead of schedule. When did you get here, Lord Shang Yu? Two and a half hours ago, according to the simulator log. That long ago? Does this mean I've been making you wait for two and a half hours? Please, pay it no mind. I was simply taking in the sea while I focused on looking over your records. My records? Indeed. Though things did go better without me around, as I calculated, there was never any doubt I would pour over your records as well. There wasn't? Calculations drive everything. Even before this latest incident began, they told me that you would be standing here today, and they were right. They were, weren't they? But nonetheless... I was worried I made a, made a mistake somewhere, or perhaps an unknown variable might have worked its way into the scenario. So to ease my concerns, I went over the records countless times to check and recheck my calculations. You did? Fortunately, my calculations returned identical results every time, thereby proving themselves correct. But even so... Oh Lord Shang, you, you really were worried about me, weren't you? No, I was not. All I did was repeat my calculations. There was no room anywhere for my personal feelings to factor into the equation. You're wrong. I've made up my mind. I've decided that my precious Lord Shang Yu was worried about me. And I'll be damned if I let some calculations change my mind. Hmm. Is that so? 
Yeah, it's so. Lord Shang Yu, now that we're here together, I'd like you to watch me dance. Just like you used to watch over me a long time ago. Of course. Bathed in rays of light from the virtual sun, the immortal butterfly dances on the sandy shore. And as she dances, she thinks. She thinks about how eventually this scene, this moment, will fade like so much mist. She knows that unless she wishes for eternal oblivion, she will always be left behind outside the axis of time. Though her former friend Shu Fu thought that would be a terrible fate, the butterfly has made her peace with it. Her perception of the present is already vague and ambiguous, and her past and future were both to be equal parts beautiful and awful. But even so, records of her deeds continue to be woven, proclaiming that on this day I was here, my virtual self dancing under a virtual sky. Hmm. That was nice. In total, that was a nice event. I think it was less... Like, it wasn't as entertaining to me as, say... Well, it's entertaining in a different way than, like, I still think the Luluhawa event was, like, the best. Um, but at the same time, it's still really good. It, and it was a good mystery story. In fact, I prefer this to any of the actual Halloween events that we've done. あ、今回は意外と大変な目にあったわ。ちょっと何よその目は。私が元凶だとでも言いたいの？And <laughs> you kind of did, but it was a good event. 知らないわよ、あんな昔のことなんて。私の記憶容量は、コウウ様最優先なんだから。とにかく、これでようやく普通に夏の山のバカンスを楽しめるわ。全力で満喫するから、先輩高校と思ってサポート。いいわね。It's not a word. It's not a word. Senpai piety is not a word. Anyways, let's read this here. Okay, so who is her voice? Maria Ise. Who's, who is this voice? Because I'm listening to her and I'm like, she sounds familiar. Um, behind the voice actors. Foo Fighters in Japanese. Okay. Um, the, the JoJo character, not the... Yeah, the, not the, 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 the band. Um, let's see here. Oh, Okiku Kikunojo in One Piece. Oh, Japanese voice of Tataru in Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, Killua. Okay, okay. Let's see. Who else do I recognize? Japanese voice of Bonnie in Pokemon, whose name is Eureka. Apparently, that's new. Oh, she's uh Nanaki in uh Fate Ilya. Okay, the kind of pink-haired, ditzy, dumb one. Okay. Who else do I see here that I can point at and go, I know you. I'm just big browsing for characters. So not as many as I thought. I was like, her voice is very familiar. Oh, Japanese voice of stalking. Yeah. Panty and stalking. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah, that's a big one for sure. Um. Sorry, the Japanese voice, not that, okay, she's, she's labeled as the voice of Evie, but that must be a one-time thing, because she's not the voice of Evie. Evie is Aoyuki, most of the time. Okay. Uh, summer resort, a vacation with my Shang Yu, with a flash, you may run happily transform to spirit origin, but things happen and Shang Yu is up behind Chalia, end of chapter one. However... Though Yume Rin's dreams were shattered, the investigation of the singularity was far from over. Lord Chang Yu's calculations indicate that the present summer temptation to the gorgeous lady of the ages takes up a spear loan to her and steps out of the summer singularity. In the Book of Han, lawful evil, sure. She'll do anything to maintain her order between her and Shang Yu. Learns about the beast's summer temptation, as Shang Yu men refer to delusions over summer and decreased ability to reduce, resist seduction. Rather than being concerned, Yumei Ren says, I mean, my Shang Yu is concerned I'll be seduced by others, becomes enamored. Oh my god. Uh, basically the same 
as you may Ren, but after boring the spear, she is in slightly higher spirits. At the same time, she feels a closer bond with Shang Yu. Flirts must die. This applies not only to anyone who tries to pick her up, but anyone who looks at her funny, even if she only thinks it happened. As such, her spear will surely seek out anyone who glanced at her swimsuit form. A necessary move to protect Shang Yu's chastity is her claim. Oh my god. Uh, Summer incarnated elemental. The fact remains that she's the same incarnated elemental, but with her spirit origin changing into swimsuit form, she is more optimized for summer. Her absorption efficiency increases in the summer, like in nature, like water from the lake or bright sunlight. One might think it's contrary to how vampire ought to behave, but she doesn't care. And because her preferences are unchanged, you might see her out sunbathing, complaining how hot it is. Dance of the bygone days. A skill that represents her sword dance that was performed by uh, for Shang Yu. She may test human culture and think mimicking it is absurd, but she will bend that rule for Shang Yu. She doesn't know if the dance is good. She doesn't know how others perceive her performance, but it doesn't matter. The only thing she knows is that at times dancing was necessary, and she's the only one who knows. And she is the only one who knows how Shang Yu assessed her dance and what his face looked like as he watched her. That sight and skill have been deeply engraved in her own spirit origin as a precious memory. Normally, the skill is sealed or unusable unless Shang Yu is nearby, but this time around, the impact of Shang Yu's spear being loaned to her broke the skill's seal. Okay, enabling it to be used with the spear serving as a king of substitute. Should be kind of substitute. Uh, it has now been arranged to be a spear dance. Anti fling rondo. I was gonna say the term fling in this case refers to unfaithfulness or summer love. I'm like, is that what it means? That's literally what it means. And it indirectly points to the summer monster mentioned in this event. The lone spear is the embodiment of Shang Yu's love, at least it's his penis, um, and is used as an anti summer monster weapon that eradicates the enemy as a special attack against males due to her outrageous presumptions. Though Yume Ren never trained in martial arts or tactics, her love for Shang Yu was roused to the extreme, and she remembered the sword dance she performed for him, but she figured she could have the same leverage. She leveraged the same maneuver using the spear, which resulted in a fantasm. For some reason, her dance turned out to resemble pole dancing. That it kind of did. Um, much like her original Nova Phantasm, Eternal Lament, she destroys her own physical body to make her magical energy go out of control to induce calamitous weather, um, but she also spins using Shang Yu spears or axis, and the rotation creates a tornado-shaped curse instead of a curse of bloody rain. The Lament, uh, the Eternal Lament has changed form to become a rondo dance of death. She and I both carried a single wish for the longest time. I was half resigned that my wish would never be granted, and yet I couldn't give it up and wander eternally. On the other hand, her vow to grant her wish was like a curse, and she created eternity by the power of bloodlines. Committing herself to eternity for the sake of her wish, she seemed foolish and fu uh, futile. Yet I understand that whether it is foolish or clever, there is no stopping things set in motion. After all, her simple honesty and pureness was like how trees entrust their seeds with hopes of continuing the next life. This is a long one, wow! Whether their intent, whether it be good or evil, it'll pass on and continue, and that's why it's still going. And that's why I won't be repulsed. I will not look at her in contempt. The only thing I'm going to do is sigh in exasperation, in conclusion. I may not be able to grant her one hope, but at least she is herself is. While I don't completely detest her, the only thing I want to do is change how she addresses me. Wow, that was a lot. That was a lot. Ilya's been updated, really? Is that the last one there? Okay, sure, let's read this. Even Magic Girls... Oh my god, there's going to be so much. Magic Girls want to have fun! The long last magical girl uh, takes the opportunity Summer provides to cast her trademark or Danny aside and become a normal schoolgirl. She's more excited than usual, but her, <laughs> her uh, intelligence and luck are lower. Basically, she's a comic relief version of Ilya. That's good. And while nothing good ever seems to happen to her, she's her. Uh, she's sure to share both her smile and tears with us. Ruby is turned into a hose and nozzle, going into splash mode. She may look different, but her ability to flap around on her own and mess with her surroundings remains undiminished. By the way, Ilya left her cards in her room. Okay, so that's, yeah. Prisma Ilya, neutral Summer. Another thing. I just gained a little weight. I mean, I matured a little. Uh, one day, Ilya had a realization. As long as I'm in college, does it mean it's summer vacation forever? Ilya is the good kind of girl who meticulously plans out everything and finishes all her summer homework to the first half of summer, and she's always bored during the latter half of the break. And right now, Ilya finds herself in a situation where that boredom has been extended. Maybe it's time I start having fun, and does that mean being in a swimsuit? Her unexplained desires to let loose grew more and more as days passed. She also realized that a handful of servants always act strange in summer. Perhaps there's a seasonal epidemic that goes around Potter's Mew. Well, that's scary. Symptoms are more severe in those uh, in those who are normally very serious, says Kuro. Please don't scare me like that. Well, let's vaccinate you, just in case, says Ruby. Okay, that's reassuring. Wait, Ruby, what kind of vaccination is this? I feel hot all over. My spirit origin is turning into summer. Wow, Ruby. Okay, Ruby just shot her up with that. And thus, a young girl's spirit origin was transformed into a swimsuit. Regardless of how it happened, when Ilya shifted into summer mode, both physically and mentally, her objective uh, switched to wholeheartedly enjoying summer vacation by giving it her all by having fun, and so she is sure to play around joyfully no matter where you take her. Uh, along with her rationale, her appetite has also gone off the rails, and she will often bring up food as a topic of conversation. Be basically, she'll eat anything and think everything is delicious. She abs she's absolutely not in any way getting fat. This is just a growth spurt. I repeat, I'm not getting fat. 
High pressure, a skill that increases the water pressure and discharge of the hose. As a side note, even though it's called water, it's actually a sort of magical energy that Ruby converted to make it look summery. And what comes out of that nozzle may differ from drugs. Summer vacation child. Elementary school children are powerful, almost invincible during summer. That's a strange thing to read. Uh, they think they can do anything, and they think that... Oh, here it is. Legal shower loaded with Ruby's meticulously made herb extract. It's weed! It's weed juice! They're not only effective on contact, but also potent if inhaled. Its sophisticated toxicity is not only harmless cilia, but the added bonus of actually raising concentration. Oh, it's literally weed. Its effects are so potent that even the Hydra would recoil, but parents should rest assured they are completely harmless to their children. Oh my god. Prisma Splash Rainbow. Young girl become a rainbow. Fifth grade summer vacation, a once in a lifetime occurrence, or so it should have been. But after having to repeat the so-called invaluable summer for numerous years, Ilya finally realizes the true meaning of summer vacation. Everything comes to an end. The moment something starts, the countdown to its end begins as well. Treasures obtained, the emotions that come with them, and even precious memories are bound to disappear one day. But even if you try to stop the clock out of fear of losing things, the treasures will lose their luster. That's why we cannot stop. We need to continue toward uh, the future as things, even as things come to an end, the ancient treasures become constellations. This is really deep. The uh, ancient treasures become constellations. The path we walk become a rainbow that paints the skies. This is an important life lesson she comes to learn, though honestly, that kind of awareness should be saved for serious main stories. Either way, Ilya converts all those summer memories and bonds into the power to transform into Prisma Ilya's Splash Rainbow. Her resolve to end summer vacation calls forth another Ilya from another dimension. Oh, and a light bulb that's seven times more dense. Okay. And she'll try, but okay. So it's basically, she does what Celebi does at the end of the Celebi movie. As Ilya successfully fulfilled her duties as the designated Scream Queen, necessary in horror situation, she is now recuperating both her voice and psyche. And after she gets a student night rest, she is sure to fly around energetically as usual. After all, elementary school kids during the summer are invincible. Uh, may you have many memories during the summer. At least that is Ilya's. That was Ilya's one wish. And if that's the case, her wish was granted numerous times. The day spent by the lake with everyone is sure to remain in everyone's hearts forever as an intense summer memory. Actually, I want to forget that vivid blood red color as soon as possible. It is sure to remain in everyone's memories. <laughs> you remember that point when Ilya got coated in blood? Oh, frick, Yume Ren has been updated. Wait, what? Didn't we do that already? TR, oh my god. Ah, uh, no, I'm not reading this one, actually. Nope. Spoilers for CCC. Abigail Williams, Summer. Okay. Oh, so many. Dreams reflect truth. They hatch from the cradle of reality, becoming a cage and turn braces. I am fantasy, dip boundaries, servant of a father, my god. Region, Massachusetts. Gender, female, drowning sweetly, fleeting. I'm surprised it doesn't say origin, Lovecraft. I guess they don't say that. In late 17th century, when Massachusetts, Massachusetts, I can't say that one, was under British rule, the then 12-year-old Puritan girl named Abigail Williams became a central figure in the gruesome Salem witch trials in which numerous villagers were accused of witchcraft and lost their lives. When Abigail was summoned as a servant, various factors intervened, and she successfully made contact with an evil god whose existence has yet to be proven in the universe, the all-in-one and the one and all. And so as a faithful vessel of the outer god and calling herself the Gate of Dreams, the girl is a foreigner possessing strong powers. And yet, one of the humble wishes the young girl has is to spend a quiet and peaceful summer alone with Master. Is that how it goes? I'm on vacation. I can't help it if my desires... I'm keeping aside, pour out. Dreamlands, in the lands of... So apparently all, like in that noble phantasm, those are all straight-up Lovecraft things. The world transforms, the target is seamlessly transformed, and the target is invited into a dream world without being aware they cross the threshold. Uh, there, they bear witness to the stark reality of the true world hidden behind everyday life and eventually lose their will to fight, even finding it difficult to maintain their ego. There is slumber, deep sleep that leads one to the divine depths of the land of dreams. Uh, da, 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 mass hysteria, the impulse to madness and liberation works on the defenseless mental state in a dream. But that doesn't mean it's always a bad thing, as it can lead to the opportunity of discovering one's true self, those who guides. Oh, I haven't got that one. Oh, after three ascensions. A servant of the otherworldly god who guards the ultimate gate. When one bearing the silver key arrives at the gate, she offers the front trial. We have not got that one. The one that crawls from outer space, the foreigner who descends as heretical and an alien to the uh, Holy Grail War. Those who hold power often have the obligation to wield for the sake of the world, but this young girl doesn't think so because those who are to uh, told to be righteous are the ones who come to face with madness. Some say it's the duty of the enlightened to follow the path of revelation, but the young girl doesn't believe that because the zeal of those who come knocking on the gate are more valuable than any wisdom that slumbers with the dead. What is going on? 
They say a man is a king among men, yet he must remain proud and solitary, and this young girl does not desire to be so, for her only wish is to be someone who rejects peace and repose so others can rely on her. Those who do not hold something, those who are enlightened, those who are untouchable at the boundary of the world, divided like the waves at the shores, the young girl desires to guide those who chose to stay or those who are lost, a foreigner is heretical and alien, yet humans still incorporate that threat to weave a path towards the future. Okay, where's that one line, though, that people were telling me about? Bond love? Are they bond ones? Uh, not that one. No. I've heard this in church many times. Wow, that's strange to hear. Okay, do they not have... I, they must be the My Room Conversations then. Because she does actually say the names of the cats. And they are not what we thought. So it's all good. Obtain all files. We'll unlock the summer camp. Okay. We got a bunch of missions still. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, first off... Let's buy all this stuff. Let's buy this here. I got more than enough stuff from the grinding. That. Okay, there we go. And, uh... Let's see here. Okay, so none of these are her. They must be the other missions, I get that. Um, well, let's at least get this. Servant Summer Camp 2. Straight up sequel, baby. Look at that. Well, we'll be getting to that next time for sure. For now, I do want to just unlock some of these here just to get them. Completely mission. Hey, are we lost in the woods? Let's at least get these. So we got we got a mission there. Got that. Okay, grab these. Wonderful. All right. Uh, let's finish off by leveling up some of our stuff here, for one. Well, actually, I need to go back and grab them, right? Yeah, they're in there. I mean, you, you know who these are going for, right? There's only, there's only one servant who I am right now making the biggest, strongest. All right, what are you at? Nice. All right. Perfect. Okay, uh, so yeah, next time let's move on to the sequel event stuff. I'm excited to see what there, because I did see that there's w I did see one small thing about a servant who appears in the story, and, uh, well, it might be related to what I just did. So we'll see you guys next time for some more, where we move on to these other events, uh, the, the, the bonus stuff where the fun times are. We'll see you then, guys. Ciao.